Streamlabs. Oh, should I have it set to be private? Wait, just a second. Go live. Okay, now we just wait. Yep. Oh, some of the, we got the first person in chat. They said here. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. We got people coming in now. So I, I guess, I guess the stream is working now. It is public. It is live. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Oh, so I. Oh, there it is on my. Uh, there it is on my channel. Let me just get the links ready. Yep. I. Uh, just checking if everything's okay. Audio wise, looking good from the channel perspective. Yeah, uh, people in chat, be f uh, feel free to tell us if, like, you know, any of the audio sounds weird. Like, if I'm too quiet or if Lyra's too quiet. Or if I'm too loud. Like, that one time I had my gain all the way up and I was just fucking bass boosted. Uh, you were blasting our ears out. <laughs> and there we go. We got all the people pouring in. Over here, like, my name is Walter Hartwell. I live at 308 Negra Arroyo Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. This is not an admission of guilt. I'm talking to my family now. <laughs> That's how... Uh, Y'all are just a little loud. That's all. Okay, cool. Well, I'd rather be loud than be too quiet, so... Um, <laughs> also, I'm going to set up the game yeah. to make sure the audio for the game is not too loud. Um, cause this is, uh, this is my first time even opening the game, as you can see from the prompt here. Um, yeah. so this is, like, I haven't even seen the title screen of this game yet, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm so fucking excited for you to, um, to experience this. I'm, uh, like, nervous right now. You're nervous! You're nervous! I'm terrified! This game looks scary! It's really, really good. Alright, I'm waiting Fusion. Let's see the title screen. Whew. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, like, no. Just the warning screen alone is, like, so well produced that it's like, okay, I can close the game now. Yeah, I've experienced enough. I don't need this no more. I'll say, uh, somebody's saying that, Lyra, you are a little quiet. I'll turn you up. I turned Lyra up a little bit, chat, tell me, uh, tell me how she sounds. Um, also, is the game too loud? Uh, how's the game sound for everybody? Should I turn the game down a bit? Let's see. Wait till we see, uh, chat's reaction. Excuse me. The game sounds good? A little loud? Okay, okay, we got some people saying it's a little loud, some people saying it sounds good. Yeah, yeah, for me on Discord, it is a tiny bit loud. Okay, I'll turn the game down a little bit. We'll see how that sounds for people. Um, or at least I could try to. Uh, I have to I have to have this open on... Uh, I have to have this, like, recording streaming my entire other monitor because uh, there was a warning at the beginning of Juniors that told you you had to record it like this, so um, it's going to be interesting trying to get this going. Here, just a moment. You guys are gonna see yourselves from it in this window. It's gonna look really wonky. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we just see the notifications working. Smiley face. Yeah, I was about to. I was about to announce chat that we now have uh, stream notifications. We have stream alerts. Um, who was that that just super chatted? Uh, let me see. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Cory Bite. That's your name. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I turned the game down a little bit. Should be good now. Uh, but yeah, we now have we now have stream alerts set up, so I won't be missing any super chats anymore. Um, we have them set up for any messages. We've got different ones set up for different uh, different super chat totals, and um, alongside setting up stream notifications, uh, I should let you all know that uh, this channel now officially has memberships. So you know, obviously. Not to say that, like, you know, you absolutely have to or anything, but, you know, if you ever feel, if you ever feel like, uh, supporting me on here, and you want to become a channel member. It's very appreciated. Yeah, it is, it is very appreciated. Um, we've got, we've got, uh, special community posts for channel members, you got a special little Clyde icon, some special emotes. Um, 
Nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing too big. Uh, you know, I, I, I mean, just like, just put it. You there. get like personally mailed one of my teeth. You know. Yeah. It's, it's a great deal. It's a great deal. Lyra rips out one of her teeth for every single new member we get, and personally sends it to you with a little handwritten letter. It's really nice. It's really nice. But uh, I, I had this. <laughs> I had a dream about this stream last <laughs> night that I, I said, "Hey guys, um, if we if we get it past the uh, the last stream's uh, viewer count, like, concur." Like recurring viewer account, um, that I would like. <laughs> I think I think I said like I would cut one of my fingers off, and you're like, we didn't talk about this. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you this talking wasn't about? in a script, Lyra. Oh, we're getting some channel members. Thank you, Lazy. Thank you, Lovey Puppy. Uh, thank you, North. <laughs> it was very spooky jump scare. Um, yeah. So we're playing. We're playing uh, Juniors. I'm just gonna read this little thing because I'm assuming this isn't the title screen. Um, so, the following game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and jump scares. Oh! Boo, you've been jump scared. <laughs> okay, these super chats are fun. Um, yeah, so the following game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and jump scares. This may result in epileptic seizures when exposed. If you've experienced any of the following symptoms while playing. Hey, just wanted to support you because, yeah. <laughs> These super chats are actually really helpful because I'm like I'm hearing these when I'm like normally wouldn't even notice it in chat. Yay. But uh, the following game contains sensitive imagery, scenes of explicit violence and gore. This imagery may offend some viewers. Discretion is strongly advised. Okay, chat, you've been warned. Um, yeah, thank you for the super chats so far. Uh, it's very very generous of you guys. This is the first fan game that I've ever seen that actually had like a more in-depth medical Joke warning about the, the flashing September lights and stuff. That's actually really cool. I, I kind of did life. that. I didn't even notice the first time I booted it up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this menu. Oh. Fucks. This menu goes hard. Oh, man. All right, let's see. I think this is the first time I played a click team game with proper options. I, I may be wrong about this, but... <laughs> the Return to Freddy's 5. The, the Return to Freddy's 5 had volume options? I think I think the Return to Freddy's 5 had like an options menu with like V-Sync and some stuff like that. That I don't I don't remember it was like a decade ago nearly. Oh. Found my wallet, lol. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I'm glad you found your wallet, Emily. <laughs> oh man. So Okay, to anyone in chat, um... Oh wow, we're getting super chats fast. Be prepared for a difficult game. Yeah, I've been told this game's hard. I've been told uh, by quite a few people that this game is, like, pretty damn difficult. Um, from the juniors team, please enjoy our game. Oh, I'm sure I will. No way. Yeah, we got... Perfect timing. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, we got people from the juniors uh, team in here already. Um, that is fantastic. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, right? Hello, um, from if I may, um, I just wanted to say to everybody here who worked on the game, thank you so much for this labor of love. I know that there's been a lot of hardship that surrounded the release of this game. I just want to let you know that both me and Zach 100% support this title and both of us are incredibly excited to see uh, what sorts of spooky things lie within this game. So, again, thank you, and I hope you all are doing really well. Yeah, I am insanely excited to play this. I've been this is this is a fan game I've been waiting for a really long time to play. Um, and I remember I was in a call with Lyra when the game <laughs> dropped. Oh, yeah, another super chat. I was the first. I've seen everything. <laughs> oh, I got the Chica quotes. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, like. This, um, this was a game I was waiting for for a while. This is a, to those who aren't aware, this is like a FNAF fan game that was always, like, teased to have, like, this really high production value behind, like, how it's set up, the models, everything about it. So it's been something we've been looking forward a lot to. And I was on a call with Lyra when this game dropped, and we were both just, like, absolutely losing our minds over it. And this game, kind of just, like, we were immediately like, okay, what's the next day we're available? We gotta, like, I gotta stream this game right away, as soon as possible. Um, I know, Lyra, you said you played it. Like, a little bit, at least. I played, I played night one. <laughs> right. That's all, that's all that I played through. I lost my wallet. I think someone else on here is pretending it's theirs. Uh -uh. I don't trust the super chats. Oh no, North, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. 
But yeah, we're just gonna start this up. Um, I know, I know, like, uh... Hey, Pasta, how are you? <laughs> doing quite good, thank you. Um, also, like, before I start, I know that there's been, like, you know, quite a bit of, like, a, like a stigma around this game when it comes to, uh, like, you know, the lead director behind it. Um, while that kind of stuff in that person is just kind of crappy, I don't intend to go into it at all while playing this game. I just plan to sit here and just ex ex enjoy the experience that a bunch of people worked really hard to make. So, right. I'm, just, I'm just getting that out of the way before, you know, it inevitably, get, it inevitably gets brought up. Give his Langman's feet pics count. One bad actor should Never. not be indicative of an entire team of hardworking, passionate people. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's how I feel too, right? So I figured I'd get that out there right away. Um, but we're gonna start this game up now. At 3 a.m. <laughs> Let's go. For me. I'm so excited. Thank you for all the super chats so far. It's been very nice of you guys. We're gonna start a new game. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Spooky ambience, black screen. Game crashes. Before we begin, jump straight into it. Go over the basic. <laughs> right, because there's a tutorial. Yeah, Listen, I would recommend it. Quick game recommendation. The it's Subway really Midnight. Cute. I love an SM smile. <laughs> Thank you, Jido. Go over the basics. Finding... <laughs> oh my god, we're getting so many Yo, super chats. Pastrami. Ready to hear some screams. <laughs> Hi, Sam. I... I... I kind of hope this game scares me. Alright, so check the security cameras, look for flickering lights or handprints on camera lens. Oh my god, there's so many donations! Change the date 2347 October 3rd, 2023, miss it again and you will have the date when I leave your walls and steel applied will become closer and closer. Well, that was a whole message and a half of thank you for the donation. They just keep coming! I'm just hearing Mrs. laughter constantly. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Also, um, I should ask chat, uh, to anyone who actually has seen Juniors, should I move anything on the overlay? Cause I don't know, I don't know anything about like important visual stuff for chat to see. Uh, should I move like me or Lyra? Should I move the stream alerts? Uh, will uh, they be getting yeah. in the way? What I will say is that the actual um, UI mm -hmm. to uh, open the monitor tends to be on either the left or right hand corner of the screen, but it's. And and the monitor itself, um, like the the cameras that you switch through, the camera buttons are on like the the right uh, lower hand side of the screen. But I don't think viewing the camera UI matters as much as actually seeing the cameras, which are like front and center. Okay. So it should be good. I don't think there's any pertinent information that Chad is missing out on uh, by having us here like this. And the the alerts won't block anything. I think the 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 size and placement of the alerts might obfuscate the cameras a bit when they pop up. Okay, you know what? I'll so make... like I would I would keep them in the same place, but just like scale them down a little bit. I'll make you and I a little bit smaller, and I'll make the alert box. I'll move it to the far <laughs> left instead. I hope you get to beat this game. I was giant Spook for a moment. Man. Also, I love. There we you. go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Geek Bear. That's very nice of you. Uh, Lady Dimitrescu kite for like one second. All right, so there, I uh, I changed the sizes a bit. Okay, so finding out who's possessed, yeah, we gotta yeah, check yeah. the cameras. We gotta look for flickering lights or handprints on the camera lenses. Mark the possessed character on your laptop. Okay. It looks like a Nintendo 3DS. Let's try it. Every time, every time the you com, every time the you complete a task, the ghost haunting juniors will eventually find its way into a new animatronic suit. You must watch carefully for clues leading you to which animatronic is haunted. When do you? Oh. Hi. I really love the positive vibe you give your videos. And your Lucky. OC is sick. Oh, thank you, Spencer. That's so nice of you to say. So, wait, is this... Oh! Oh. Watch carefully. When you're ready to click which animatronic... <laughs> Gee, I wonder! <laughs> Great job. Okay. One last thing. Check the animatronic stability from time to time. Call the animatronics to the conveyor belt for repairs, but make sure they're not haunted. Okay, so if an animatronic stability is low, I have to call them to get repaired, but if they're haunted, I just get clobbered. 
Yep. Nice. Okay. <laughs> There's. Oh yeah, I forgot about first this. First time catching a stream. Shut up for a second. Oh, thank you, purple shut-in. Oh, what's this? Whoa. Where am I? Am I dead? Good assumption. This feels so weird. <laughs> oh, we got another. Beta beta. Thank you, Gino. Man deserted out of his fucking mind. <laughs> it seemed to be fine, but I feel empty. Ooh, I wasn't expecting like hand-drawn cutscenes. There's definitely. Yeah, I think I. Hmm? I think another person who uh, worked on these, like uh, Iwato on on Twitter, I think their name is. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, we got a new member. Thank you, uh, Zizo, Zizo, however you say your name. Welcome to the pumpkin batch. There's definitely a paranormal presence here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you gotta voice this character. Did I? <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I was just fucking around. Okay. <laughs> Feeling is new to me. Oh, whoops! That well, that probably wasn't important. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! Crunch, crunch. <laughs> hey, some... I heard that. <laughs> Show yourself. Just somebody in the bushes, just like saying the word crunch. <laughs> oh, le crunch! Le le crunch. Le crunch. <laughs> I'm not looking for trouble. I'm just a little lost. I wonder who's gonna scare Paster first? The animatronics or Super Chat jump scare? Oh, you bring up a good point, Lur Lurking Lappin. Like, I, I'm so I'm so bad with these names today. You make a you make a really good point, actually. Like the friggin' Super Chat jump scaring me. <laughs> or me. True. Please. <laughs> oh, I've never seen anything like you before. <laughs> if little. If little chibi Freddy Fazbear appeared before my eyes with a glowing aura. He just, the man walks to you, he goes, It's like an Animal Crossing village. Just... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hope this isn't somebody else's wallet. Oh, I love that the super chats the... have a narrative going. Thank you, Mike Gamer. The man pulls a Glock 19. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what the? Hello. Okay, this is one of the things that immediately I was like, what the hell's up with juniors? It's a click team game, but this is a 3D environment. Yeah, um, this is, this is, like, it is horrifying how they were able to do this. As somebody who developed in Click Team, this looks like it would have been a fucking nightmare. Yeah, like what the hell? So this environment looks amazing. Shadow oh. voice is back. Really love it Juniors aesthetically. Cool also, you place. press E to uh, to like right. uh, go to the have next chat one. box when you Blue do heart. walk up to him. Oh, okay. Also, thank it you, took Virus. Me a second to that out. Okay, so E to interact. Oh, we got a new channel member. <laughs> should I should I voice the little man? Oh, actually, I can't voice both of them. You should voice little man. I'll voice silly guy. All right. I'll Where voice. the hell am I? Who are you? Righty. And then look up at him. Oh, I'm dead. How is that even possible? What happened to me? And then slow down there, little buddy. I said limbo between life and death. You aren't dead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we got another. Look up. Oh, I certainly will, thank you. What does that even mean? It means you can go back to the real world whenever you want. That's a nice one. Fun fact, I will eat you lunch. Uh, okay, great. Uh, send me back now. I don't belong here. Yeah, not so fast. I brought you here to help me with some unfinished business I have in the real world. <laughs> This game has honestly made me rethink what it means to make an FNAF style sit and survive horror game. Oh, and making me reconsider some of the ideas I've had for my own fan game idea. Yeah, this this game's really neat so far. Thank you for the donation, Corey. Why can't you just do it yourself? Unfortunately, I'm not alive like you. I've been trapped in here for as long as I can remember. I've been waiting to cross paths with someone like you. Someone that could help me move on into the afterlife. He's Weed Bear. Weed Bear. <laughs> this man is stoned. 
I'll even make you an offer. You can help me with my unfinished business, and I'll lend a helping hand with your investigation. I know Judas like the back of my hand. Go over to the bed. I'll transfer you back to the real world. Me back here tomorrow night. I don't know what the fuck you're going on about, Weed Bear, but I'd like to sleep right now anyway, so... <laughs> I I'm just, the next bet I go. This. Need a nap the anyway. The more scared he got, the more Spanish he spoke. Got an EP. <laughs> Gotta get my EPs in before I go to Freddy Fondle Bears. Oh! oh. Yep, this is it. Oh. Use the cameras to search for the haunted animatronics. Look for hints such as handprints or flickering lights. Oh. Okay. okay, so real quick, uh, when you're on the cameras, um, it is WASD to physically move around the camera feed. Oh. And then if you want to switch camera, um, hover your mouse over that little thing that says open and then click. Oh. Oh, thank you for your channel member, Mimic. Thank you. Oh. Oh, this oh my people? god, this looks photorealistic. <laughs> right? Have five Insane. bucks and a penny, you funky squash spaghetti flavored entity. Thank you so much, Lunar Eyes. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Okay. That's actually, um, I think that's Freddy. Oh, that is Freddy, too. <laughs> I found a wallet that something tells me I should fund the owner, but may. Okay, so thank you for the super chat. Either the either the ghost hasn't entered the building yet, or none of these guys are haunted, because it doesn't look like there's any flickering. But he moved on his own. <laughs> Why does Paul Bear look I mean, so They can move on their mind. own without being haunted. I think if this is going by FNAF canon. Mm. Also, real quick, the the puppet confused me for a while because that little music box thing, I didn't know how it worked. <laughs> I ended up figuring out. A uh, really useful tip for you that basically the way that that works is you just click on it and if it's just making an ambient static sound then the puppet isn't in that room but if you switch to a camera while that little music box thing is active and you start to hear a little jingle that means uh, that's where the puppet is. Oh, okay. Also, thank you for the $20 donation. What? I... I am... Okay, so that, yeah, that... Can I, I use this to check their stability? Um, okay. Um, okay. And then that's the way that you, like, guess which one is haunted, is by switching to their little icon and then holding space. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Use this fast tablet to switch the cameras. Use the speaker icon to hear where the marionette is located in the building. Spe uh, press where's the, the speaker? Press the speaker real quick. Where's the speaker? Uh, Bottom oh. right of the camera thingy. Ah! Okay, notice... Notice how you were hearing music for a second in the kitchen while the camera was flickering? Yeah. <laughs> we might have a sussy Quick imposter puppet behind on you. our hands. Oh, uh, thank May. you. May. May is the operative word. Thank you. I don't know if there's another thing in there. Thank you, Dragoon Cohen. You're very mean, though. Uh, if this door opens. <laughs> hey, Pistra, you've been soaring higher and higher. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I'm. <laughs> I, apologies if I don't have much to say about uh, a lot of the super chats I'm getting. I'm kind of tense right now. Um. Okay. So. Listen for one. I thought you lived in a house. Har har har. What was that? I heard something. Can you change the super chat sound to a loud metallic banging? I want my five dollars to give you a heart attack. I Sorry, refuse. That's that just the sound of me and your mom. Don't worry about it. Huh? <laughs> ah! Yeah. Boo. Okay, so I'm looking for flickering and yeah. fingerprints. Most likely, the, the the most telling sign is gonna be the the flicker. Oh, there's flickering. That's Freddy. <laughs> that's actually What's your favorite um. DreamWorks movie. You'll notice when it flickered, one of them left the room. That's usually oh. the indication. But if you're hovering on a camera and it's doing that, yeah. Um. Oh, but Freddy and Foxy were in the same room. But the but the lights are still flickering, and Freddy's gone. Can you can you test a theory for me real quick and yeah. press the music box? Oh. 
I have a theory. I think it's the puppet. So the, pup the puppet's haunted? I think, because we were in that other room with nobody, but we heard music for a second and it was flickering. So, like, go down there uh, to, like, the bottom icon. No, like, uh, go back on the uh, that monitor, and at the bottom you'll see an icon. You can switch uh, the animatronic using, like, a little arrow to the right of the icon. Down. Right. Right. Oh! Great. And so, then hold space. <laughs> One out of yes. two? Hey, good to see you. One out of, huh? Have a good scare. Oh, no. I am just now realizing that this is actually a really great game to play, like, co-op, because it's it's almost <laughs> Among Us-esque, where both of us are, like, hey, theorizing which one is haunted. Love your Sonic CD mm. video. Thank you, I'm very proud of that Sonic CD video. Very nice of you to super chat me. Oh, okay. I don't think it's Freddy. I don't think Freddy is haunted. Freddy... There's been no flickering yeah. of Freddy. Methinks he is just a normal Imbobatronic. Okay, so it's not Freddy. Um, where even are the others? Ah! Hi! Oh my god, it's our favorite boy, Bonathan Bunderhatch. Bonable Bubblegum Bunny! Bondubulous Quandale. <laughs> Bondale Dingle. <laughs> Bondale Dingle. Okay, so I don't think it's Bonnie. Uh, I don't think it's Freddy. Oh, who are you? Oh, is that Chica? Oh, the lights were flickering with Chica. Or is- wait. Wait. Okay, the puppet wasn't in there and the lights stopped flickering when Chica left. Okay, let's... Let's try to find Chica again and, and see if we can confirm our suspicions. Okay. What happens if their stability gets too low? Um, if an animatronic stability reaches zero, <laughs> they just automatically book it for you and beat just you shit in. What?! Have some more money for yeah. this wallet I have, which is mine. Thank you, Emily. It's 100% my wallet. <laughs> Where the hell did Chica go? There's Foxy. I think I think it might be Chica, because the lights were only flickering when I was on Chica's camera. Your mods are telling me to stop being genuinely helpful. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see you fail. Okay, there's Chica. I think that's Chica. That's Chica, right? Yeah. Wait. The lights wait, are. Me... Are the lights flickering? Uh. That's a. I think. I don't know that. I th that <laughs> might be a normal amount of flickering, but I'm unsure. Can't wait to see the YouTube video. Cause like, okay, if you go to the other oil. cameras. Love you both. Thanks. First time being a member. Oh my Try god. To get a heart attack and join they us they look like they're about to make the sickest diss track of all time. They do also thank you, Mimic, it means a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, I think all of them kind of like vacantly flicker. That's awesome. Is that glitch trap in the background? Is it? It looks like glitch trap. <laughs> okay, okay, are the light Am I going crazy, or is there more- what- oh! Oh, that was just you moving. I can't tell if the lights are flickering more- okay, no, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Found some chicken part wait. in the alley. Wait. Want some? Speaker? Puppet isn't there. Is it Freddy? Wait. Wait. I have- Okay, the puppet's here now. I have- I have a theory. Hmm. Can you check your maintenance panel? Yeah. I just want to see something real quick. Oh! <laughs> Why did Foxy get you? Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't hear you scream. That was really unexpected. Sorry to interrupt again. But there's a cut-off mouse cursor icon on the stream. I Don't think the one critique I have not. for this game so far is that I feel like the jump scare sound should be a bit louder, because that was honestly a, a, a wee bit quiet. Yeah, speak for yourself! <laughs> oh Did my- Did you just die? Internally? A little bit. Where- okay. Balloon- I couldn't even find Balloon Baby! At one point was Balloon Baby on screen! I- my theory was because you all noticed the tip there is check Balloon Baby's stability, it glitches from time to time. 
I'm wondering if you just can't fucking see him whatsoever. And you have to check the monitor to see if he's haunted or not. Okay. Okay. So... Okay, so Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, they've got the lights flickering, they've got the they've got the fingerprints. <laughs> Puppet makes the music box sound um, when they're in rooms. Balloon Baby, what, they have like they have glitching stability. Yeah. So that could be a sign that they're haunted. He doesn't appear on the cameras. The man is absolutely tweaking. That's how you can tell. Okay. Okay. Well, I wish I wish there was some kind of information that told me that. Well, you live and learn. Okay, so yeah, they do actually all start in position. Okay, so I'm assuming who's haunted changes every time I retry. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. The oh. ghost has entered a new animatronic. Okay. Freddy that fast. little notification sound plus that message is the most Among Us part of this fucking game. <laughs> True. It's so funny. The first time I saw that, I fucking laughed my ass off. Okay. <laughs> Bloon Bab. Bloon Bab. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation, Lunar Eyes. Okay, so everyone's everyone's off the stage. Um, cause there's Bonnie back there. There's Chica right there. Ugh, I hate it when they're in multiple rooms. Okay, the puppet's also in here, and so is Foxy. <laughs> they're congregating. Okay. Talking about balls. Okay. Okay. Where? Black Sheepies says, I really super chatted and got ignored twice. We're, I... <laughs> We're playing a horror game. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I but like, I can't it. notice every super chat. I'm, I'm focused on the game. I appreciate it, though. The last super chat they did just said, Baby, I'll scream. We love that. Ghostly Bane says, Juniors is love it or hate it, I think you'll love it. I don't see how anybody could hate this game other than the the arbitrary reason of its its controversial development cycle, but um, this game does not seem hateable in any capacity. This is not only polished beyond belief, but like really fun so far. Yeah, I'm really interested by this. <laughs> Because it's Funnily not like the enough, typical FNAF gameplay loop, it's Jesus like spend my genuinely way more interactive, I would say. I don't know, it feels more engaging. Mm. <laughs> like you're actually investigating There's a cut-off mouse cursor icon on the street. Kind of Don't know vibing. if it's a game or not. There's a cut-off mouse cursor icon on the street. I don't really know what you're talking about. What, what do you mean there's a cut-off mouse cursor? There's a mouse cursor in the game. Oh, I think they're talking about the fact that the, the cursor in this game doesn't have, like, the little stick going out of the arrow. Oh, well, that's just part of the game. Right. That's that's just... That's not Pastra's uh, normal arrow. It's just a, something in the, the game so the, the audience knows where... Sorry, the player knows where their mouse actually is. Where the also, John John Morrison says, "Funnily enough, I work at a Chuck E. Cheese, and I hap and then I happily spend my paycheck on someone streaming a FNAF game." Don't spend all of your paycheck, buddy. You gotta like, I don't know, do adult things, pay taxes. Oh, balloon boy's glitching out. A... Oh shit! Uh, uh, call him, call him, call him. Uh, not call him. Uh, suss him out. Okay, okay, we got balloon boy. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and I'm suspicious of Bonnie. Look at that, smash this Bonnie. Dubious little creature having a time. Thank you, average, uh, average cassette player. Okay, um. Okay, <laughs> I'm suspicious of Bonnie. Because a lot, like. 
Wait, is that even? That's Freddy. That's Freddy. That's Freddy. They made also about about the baddest uh, question. I'm pretty sure. I I don't know how far the baddest's range goes in terms of smashability, but I'm willing to to wager that they would be interested in this Bonnie. Uh oh. <laughs> Mouse on the top part of the computer box thing. Yeah, I don't think it's Bonnie. You don't think it's Bonnie? Okay, um... <laughs> These stream notifications are actually making me jump. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute, are there- there's fingerprints on the- there's fingerprints on the monitor! Oh. Okay. I did not- what the fuck? Wait. Okay, I guess it wasn't them. No, because you saw, uh, I was about to point out Balloon <laughs> Baby's shit was glitching. The but I already, I already right got him. I think the only, I have, I've seen a playthrough before where the, the ghost can enter the same animatronic twice. <laughs> Wait, really? Play Subway yeah. Midnight, double exclamation mark, wear a face. Thank you, Gito. So, wait, so it can be- it's fully random, so- It, it is entirely randomized, so it could be the same twice in a row. It can be the same character twice. Skadoosh. thank no. you. The motherfucker can tweak multiple times in a night. He has his dealer. Okay, cool. Good to know. <laughs> I'll remember that then. Okay, first things first, let's immediate- Oh, guys, the ghost isn't even in the building yet. Oh wow, Freddy moved immediately. There's, okay, there's Foxy, there's Freddy. Who the hell is Freddy? And why am I spending five nights with him? <laughs> Seems kind of homosexual. <laughs> I can't. Shadow the Hedgehog spends five nights at Freddy's. I can't break this early in the stream. It's too early to pull out the Shadow the Hedgehog card. That's like our trump card. I like I I just like stuffed the shadow <laughs> card back into my pants hastily. I'm like fuck 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 fuck, fuck, fuck not this early. No. This Thank Get you back in there. there. Okay. Um. <laughs> my God, I'm getting these Old so go frequently. Old ghosty M with a double balloon boy strat. You press the music box and you just hear. <laughs> Did you know that you have rights? Well, the Constitution says you do. Hi, I'm Saul Goodman. Oh, yeah. it's, it's the it's the bitch again. There this we go. Fuck. How has it been three times in a row? This ghost is just... Yeah, actually three times in a row. Number one Balloon Boy fan. <laughs> ghost went into a baby yeah. three times. Kind of sussy. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> The half mouse. I'm aware that the half mouse is there. It's part of the game. Of course, it's there. <laughs> People in chat acting like I'm denying its existence when I literally just pointed out it's part of the game. Thank you, Tem, for your beautiful message. Soul Goodman plays juniors. Okay, it's either the. Okay, it's I think it's the puppet. The lights were flickering with the puppet in here. Nexus, you're aware that I'm reading chat right? Also, wait, you think it's the puppet? Wait. I'm hearing music box music, and the lights were flickering in that one room where a bunch of them were. Okay, well, I guess there's three of them in here, and the puppet ain't here anymore, and the lights are still flickering, so it's either Foxy, Bonnie, or... Yeah, they're 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 seeming a bit devious. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, it, it, so it's Bonnie. It's Bonnie. It's 100% Bonnie, unless we check and it's Balloon Boy again. Oh, no, that's definitely Bonnie. There we go. Fuck yeah, let's go. Paul Bear is waiting for you. Oh wait. No, Zach, they're right. Um the the in-game mouse is there, but then in the middle of the screen, it's like a glitched out version of your normal mouse. No, it's a stream glitch. I'm piece. sorry. On stream glitch. What do you mean there's a 
mouse in the like if you if you if you look at screen if you look at oh the what vibe, the hell yeah it's just vibing there <laughs> maybe maybe the ghost Kurt, has went into your computer and, juniors, and the, the spirit of juniors is manifesting through this fucking <laughs> this little glitched out mouse what <laughs> player two has joined the game well what the hell am i supposed to do about that um oopsie mall like did you these like, all, what the hell am I supposed to- These are all viable options. What, what, like... I, I literally um, can't do anything about that, that's like a visual glitch. Yeah, you guys are just gonna have to bear with it. Like... I don't know what would cause that, I don't know, uh... People in chat acting like me seeing it was like- Like, it's, it's not on my screen! Yeah, How the hell was um, I supposed to see it? Yeah, Zach is streaming it for me on Discord and isn't there either. It's literally only on Streamlabs. Okay, well that was interesting, night one. What if Paul Bear sounds like fucking Jesse from Baking Bad- <laughs> Baking Bad? <laughs> Baking the Breaking Bad <laughs> spin-off about a bakery. Just tweeted it yo, 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 Mr. White, I made you a cake! <laughs> Thank you, Cory. I hope you like it, bitch. <laughs> Jesse, this isn't meth. Oh, we're back. No, there's no, Mr. White. No, there's meth True in the cake. You don't understand. Alive. It's a blue cake. <laughs> it's a blue cake. Oh boy, we're back here. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's this? Rules X no poop. run. X poop. <laughs> My favorite console. The X. <laughs> I fucking love X pooping. I love the X poop. <laughs> X poop Half life. Mouse is my favorite F and AF character. Mine too. Just, just see gamers in their little shit red in gamer chairs playing on my X poop. <laughs> playing the X poop. <laughs> it was unlike anything I'd ever seen. The paranormal activity was off the charts. As I suspected, the same ghost has been haunting juniors for years, playing the same old tricks. Wait, if there's a ghost in the real world, then why can't you just do it yourself? You made out that whole thing last night, didn't you? Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, Mr. White. Definitely, we need to make remnants. This dude is so fucking zooted. Jesse! <laughs> Man, there's, his eyes. There's remnant in those robots, Jesse! Um, Alright, fine. Jesse. You caught me! Jesse, we need to make remnant. <laughs> the scooper, Jesse! Alright, fine, you caught me. I lied. Any ghost can go back to the real world. And then Walter White says, I always come back. That's the ending of Breaking Bad right there. But I'm such a yeah. nervous wreck, I, I can't go back. I've been hiding in this costume for so long. A ghost afraid of a ghost? A little bit, yeah. That's kind of why I need you. I'm tired of... I'm tired. I'm tired of being afraid of her. She won't let me leave with my soul intact. She'd rip me to itty bitty pieces if she knew I was hiding in here with you. Now, you're here! You can help me! By getting rid of the ghost once and for all! Okay, pussy. <laughs> Mom. <Mauled. laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about this one. I feel like I, I feel like a fish on a hook. <laughs> Just like, walking away, sticking up the middle finger at him, hopping into the bed. <laughs> Wouldn't you? True, I would- No, 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 you're right, let's talk more tomorrow night. No, bitch, I'm not coming back. This is creepy. <laughs> Get me out of here. There's all those creepy gigas looking faces in the background. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> hey, is that a big brain? Yeah. That's kind of weird. You're stuck inside your brainy head, thinking devious thoughts about Paul Bear about Paul being Bear. Jesse. Wait, so are the animatronics in this not named, like, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy? They are. I think Paul Bear is just Paul Bear. Oh, Paul Bear is just little, little, like, N64 Freddy. 
I I prefer I prefer to call him Weed Bear. Weed Bear. I think it's better. very. I think it's for very obvious reasons. <laughs> and look at him. Oh, we got Hi, super chat. I'm Saul Goodman. Did oh. you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do, and so do I. Conscience gets expensive, doesn't it? I love how everything here looks. Thank like, you, Saul Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I didn't really use the conveyor belt last time. Um, You're probably gonna need to starting tonight. More than likely, yeah. Yeah. So there's Chica there. Ghost isn't in the building yet, are they? Bunby and Chica. Okay, now the ghost is in the building. Okay, right away. Check this. Yeah, not. He announces his presence. He's like, yo, yo, Mr. White, I'm in one of them bitches. <laughs> I am in this robot! <laughs> okay, nothing with Balloon Baby. The man is like, I have arrived. Actually, wait, no, it's a female. It's a female ghost. They're like, alright, time to have a girl boss moment. They just step into one of the animatronics. <laughs> They're gaslighting you. This entire game is just the girl boss gaslight ghost. <laughs> okay, puppets in here. He is simply vibing. Okay, somebody moved here. <laughs> I'm not noticing any flickering lights with Foxy, Freddy, and the puppet in here. She's gatekeeping Paul Bear. It's all connected. Thank you, Nexus. But wait. It's very cool. Wait, so if any of their individual stability hits zero, I die, but all their stability is going down at the same time. Yeah. So how do I how the hell do I keep track of that? How do I stop that? Um you can either you can call one whenever you want. Well yeah, but like I'm literally constantly gambling my life then, if I don't know. True, which is why they recommend that you call an animatronic in the downtime between hauntings. Right. Should have done that. And also, uh, if you guess if you guess wrong, if you guess an animatronic that just straight up isn't haunted, their stability level just takes a fucking huge plummet. I noticed. Okay, I don't think Bonnie is haunted. Although, like, none of them are showing any signs yet. Like, literally none of them have shown any signs of being haunted. Okay, but like, lights aren't- lights aren't flickering when Freddy's in the room. I might want to call Freddy just in case, right? Um, wait, can you check the monitor real quick? I want to see if Balloon Boy is tweaking. I don't think he is. Yeah, see? Holy sh- oh my god, wait, uh, call Freddy. Holy hell, they're dropping. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, how the hell am I supposed to, like, keep track of it if all of them are draining at the same rate? Also, uh, you wanna keep track relatively of the conveyor because the longer you keep an animatronic waiting on your conveyor the longer it's going to take for uh for you to call the next one what do you wh what do you mean you can you can check there uh if you go to conveyor belt control yeah he's here okay so what do i uh, what do i do close that close that turn around like to the other side Huh? Press W. Oh, what the f- Ah! What? What? Throw the out the broken animatronic chip into the Freddy Faz bin located to your What? Yeah. And then... What the hell? Isn't that cool? That is really cool. Um... Oh. Holy shit, yeah, you might want to, like, get a move on. 
Well, like, th none of them are showing any sign. What the hell? There's weird stuff in this room. That's a handprint. That's a handprint. That's the top of it is haunted. The hop. Okay. Get him, get him, get him. So it wasn't the puppet. What? <laughs> How? Foxy wasn't even there. I hear music and I see a handprint. Ah, oh, yes, the puppet is haunted. So, yeah, it was not the puppet. Clearly. Okay, well, that could have gone better, but we learned some things. <laughs> We learned that the handprints are either bullcrap or Foxy was just hiding. You missed so many handprints. Where? Where are the handprints? They leave a handprint when they leave the room? How was I supposed to know that? Like, tell me, chat. Tell me how I was supposed to know that the handprints appear after they leave and not when they're in the Sorry, room. I can't stay stream quit. Blackheart. It's bullshit because because we've seen a handprint when the the, the sassy imposter is in the room before. Like if I was, if I see handprints and I hear that the puppet's in there, I'm not going to assume oh somebody was in here that left. I'm going to assume that the thing in there is the one that left it. Right. Like Chat's over here saying skill issue when it literally wasn't informed to me. Like, I wasn't told. Yeah, Chad, that's kind of an L. I think, like, the only critique I have of this game, other than the jump scare volume, is the fact that sometimes it just does not adequately give you the information that you need. Which is cool, because then you get to, like, uh, experience, like, a sort of difficulty curve, I guess, as, as you're going through things. But it's still a bit weird because if 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 like I wasn't here to s sort of clarify some things, I'm willing to bet it would have taken a long time for you to realize what certain things meant. Well, yeah, because like, how are you supposed to learn that kind of information on your own? There's no instruction. Like, it's it's kind of just like I trial and error, but it's not book. clear. Yeah, I think you're just kind of supposed to, like, bump into the correct information, which isn't ideal, but it's it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, that's, that's Oh, no, it's, it's not, like, a big problem. It's just, like, you know, I wouldn't have known that if chat wasn't telling me that after I died. <laughs> Thanks, Nyx. Says, for a horror YouTuber, you're surprisingly jumpy. I mean... Wouldn't you get more enjoyment out of horror if you're easily scared? Is what I always say to that, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I I think uh, I think you know, I'm easily scared. Horror is made to scare you. Oh hey, fingerprints and Bonnie just left. So what? Bonnie's haunted. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's just test. Let, 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 For a horror it. YouTuber, are surprisingly jumpy. I just I'm gonna test it. If Bonnie kills me, um, if Bonnie kills me, so be it. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, how the fuck are we supposed to get that the first time? Yeah, like, if I see fingerprints in a room where an animatronic is, I'm going to assume it's the animatronic in the room that's haunted. Yeah, I can hide the tips now. Okay, though, that's, that's, now that I know that, though, that'll, I think I'll have an easier time figuring it out. I was worried that the handbirds wouldn't be very obvious to, like, see. Um, the ghost has entered a new animatronic. Cool. Um... Okay, nothing in here. Okay, there's lights flickering in here. Um, did the lights flickering stop? Okay, Wait, so the uh, lights- they, hmm? The Veil just messaged me. They said they mean that one on the top of the computer monitor that was there before. It moves when he turns his head. It's not part of the game. I'm confused by that statement, but also very intrigued. Veil's referring to the mouse cursor. Oh. So... Is it Bonnie? It is Bonnie again. <laughs> this okay. message was from like 140, by the way, so it's been a bit. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna call Foxy. Um, and yeah, it's, it's Bonnie again. 
Better call Foxy the spin-off of, of Breaking FNAF? Okay, so the ghost isn't in anyone new yet. So, okay, Foxy is about to arrive. Is I saw, I saw that Foxy was- there we go. God, that's creepy looking. There we go. Foxy's all <laughs> better. Fucking Minecraft. The Minecraft sound though. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, okay, the lights are flickering in here. Uh, and, but all four of them are here, so that's not really helpful. Heard someone donated two dollars via mod. Except for the marionette. Alright, so... So we can roll that out. It's either Chica or Bonnie again. The lights are flickering with Bonnie and Chica in the room. Okay, and they both left at the same time. Nice. Aww, and they were roommates. It's- is it Bonnie oh, again? It's Bonnie. it's Bonnie. again? I feel as if... If it's not, that's- that's bull, but okay. Okay, so it wasn't Bonnie again. What? It was Chica- it was Chica. That kind of makes sense, but I didn't see her on the other camera. Maybe we should have, like, panned around a bit. Probably should have either panned around or, um, you know, looked around for Chica to see if the lights flickering was more obvious. Because, like, I find that there's, like, a flickering to the cameras as well as a flickering to the rooms when a ghost is in there. Holy shit, we've already gotten fan art for this stream. What the fuck? We have? Yeah, there's one of me and you just pogging at Weed Bear. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna call Bonnie right away because I want to see my boy um, before the ghost is here. Uh, there's another one of Weed Bear that's meant to look like that one Rousey picture of him with the fucking joint. I can already tell that this stream is just gonna get more chaotic as it goes on. All right, I think Bonnie. Okay, the ghost is here. You know what really fucks with me? What's that? I was thinking yesterday and like people constantly like take a giant dump on the FNAF Plus designs because they say that they're too scary to realistically exist in a kid's establishment. What the fuck are these? I... Can I just these say are on... horrific. Yeah, actually, first of all, like these, these designs are terrifying. Second of all, though, uh, okay, problem. there's there's fingerprints here. There's fingerprints. Yep. Uh, I had a good job until my boss just accused left. me of killing children. Uh, better call us all. That sucks. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. There's fingerprints in here too. Um, who was in here though? I wasn't able to see. Oh, it's it, it, is it Freddy? Or wait, no, those those fingerprints were left before. Ah, oh, this is interesting. Okay. Okay, are the lights flickering with- Okay, that was Chica leaving. Let's see when he leaves, if he leaves like a f fingerprint, because maybe- Maybe it doesn't flicker sometimes. Okay, that looks like- I oh, think that's, that's a, a handprint. That's a new, that's that's a a new handprint. handprint. I think it might be Freddy. Let's- let's test that theory. Cool, it was Freddy. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, and okay, then yeah, downtime, yeah. we'll call Freddy. But yeah, no, I don't... I think that people are bullshitting when they say, Oh, the designs are bad because they're too scary, because these are fantastic and work great in their setting, despite the fact that they're, like, horrifying in, in a way that a, a children's entertainer mascot would never be. Can I also just say, too, that Scott was the guy who designed the mangle? Right. Y you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me that the mangle is a fan-favorite character, and you think that's perfectly fine, but the FNAF Plus designs aren't? You mean to tell me that the two-headed spider foxy that crawls on the walls and makes garbled static noises is perfectly fine, but, you know, the cheap-looking animatronics are not? People keep making memes about the fucking cut-off cursor. The cutoff ghost cursor. Okay, wait, let me check for any glitches in the... Okay, no, it's not Balloon Boy. 
The ghost of juniors has entered the computer. Playing on my pewter. Okay. No lights flickering in here. No lights flickering in here. No handprints. We stand Chica just constantly being EP because same girl. God, Foxy Mood. and Chica keep entering the same room, so it's hard to get an idea of them. Because they were roommates. <laughs> they were roommates. Obviously. And they were they're, roommates. They're just kissing. Do not worry about them. Okay, uh, I can't. There's okay. So Foxy didn't leave any fingerprints when he left. There's no lights flickering in here. Uh, I should probably call someone over. Uh, but I, I don't know. You don't know who to call? I don't. No, I don't. Well, I don't know who's haunted. Dude. Hmm. Well, there's something strange, oh! and it don't look good. Wait a minute. It's Bonnie. It's Bonnie. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay, who's... call somebody now. We're gonna call oh, Foxy. This is looking real bad. Okay, no ghosts in the building right now, so I'm... Yeah, this round we really need to focus on calling animatronics because, oh my god, they're running low. Ghost has entered a new animatronic. Can the ghost enter a new animatronic? Like, so like, if I call somebody, right, and, um, like, whenever the ghost isn't in a new animatronic, the ghost can't just enter the person I currently have on a conveyor belt, can they? I think the scariest thing is that I actually don't know the answer to that question. I do not know if they can just pull a little bit of trolling. Cause like, I feel um, like on one hand that would be pretty cool for horror, but it would also feel kind of awful gameplay wise. Um... Maybe we could call Freddy because... Let's, let's wait until he leaves to see if there's a handprint first of all. But then after that let's uh... Call him over. Wait, where was... Okay, there he is. Yeah, okay. I saw flickering on another camera, so I can <laughs> almost definitely vouch for the fact that this dude is not haunted. Okay. Um... Bloom Boy also isn't flickering. I feel like we gotta call him. Oh my god, yeah, I just noticed he's at... Well, a lot of them are at 23. Jesus. Yeah. It's looking kind of bad. Whenever I hear juniors, like, that this this is the location in and of itself is called juniors, I think of the fucking Spongebob episode where he's sent to, like, the salty Splatoon junior. God. Yeah. I'm not man enough to go to the real salty Splatoon. <laughs> Sounds like you're saying Splatoon. Splatoon. Oh, it's, oh, it's Weenie Hut juniors. That's right. Sorry, it's been a while since I've watched that. Oh, oh, lights are flickering. Chica's in the room, not, the lights are flickering. He's like, not Weenie Hut Jr. Uh, Chica? Uh, <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god. That was actually tense. I was worried for a second that, like, somebody was gonna run out. Did you see how close that was? The puppet was at 10%. You fucking what? The puppet was at yeah. 10! God! Take a shot every time you hear it, Swami. <laughs> Take a sh I would be dead from alcohol poisoning. The curiosity's eating you, but you don't know if you should watch it or not. Oh, I'm gonna watch it! I ain't no baby. It's an episode of Better Call Saul. <laughs> Oh my god, the season finale of Breaking Bad! No, this is spoilers! Oh, Fetty! Fed bear. Fetty got an arm! Put that down, Fetty! It says Sus Among Us on it, I bet. <laughs> Sus Among Us cuts back to <laughs> Freddy, the imposter's behind him. You're all right. Oh no. Sweetie Hut Junior Junior. He got hit with a double junior. Oh no. Thank you for the super oh, chat. The Beware the mangle. Oh. Ooh. 
Okay, that was brilliant. I'm not even gonna lie lie to you. That was fucking awesome. What? It's funny how the mangle shows up right after the night where I was talking about the mangle not being fit for a kid's establishment. I think it's I think it is incredibly funny how one of the best FNAF VHS moments that we've ever gotten just appeared in fucking juniors. Yeah, right? Like that was insane. That was that was, that was sick. Like that this the shadowed silhouette of, of like the the gnashing teeth just showing up on Freddy's little cute clay body. Oh, it's so so cool. So God, this game this this game rocks. This game's so cool. Okay, I'm So we've got Mangle thrown in the mix now. What the hell's Mangle gonna do? Wednesday night, the Mangle. The man Oh Mangly. Oh the Mongo. There's this, uh, there's this video of, uh, this person reacting to the FNAF World trailer <laughs> from, like, all the way back then, and when Mangle shows way. up, just, like, doing a little paddle ball, they just say, Oh, Mangly. Oh. <laughs> and it, oh. it's been, like, an, it's been an in-joke between me and my friends for years. Oh, Mangly. Oh, Mangly. Oh, oh. How, how far can I run out into this? Why should just be like Coraline and it just like loops back around? That would be neat. How far does this go? I don't like these devious little faces. Yeah, all the weird like scary looking Gygus faces. Am I- I am getting farther away. Cause I can't even like tell what they are. There's gotta be something if I just keep going, right? They I just noticed that one of- one of the faces looks like the- the weird ghost f uh, face from uh... SCP-087. Am I slowing down? Why is the floor black? It wasn't black before. Yeah, and I'm also, like, getting slower, it feels like. Is, is something gonna happen? Or am I just infinitely walking away? Why is the grass gray? Everything's gray! Except for that. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe there isn't something over here. Well, why would they let me just infinitely walk? There's nothing out there? Oh, okay. That's sad. Wait. Did you lose your direction? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's it's no. back here. I have very little sense of direction. <laughs> Fucking clearly. That's why somebody posted a compass. It's funny, too. You knew that you were gonna need it. You were like, I'm not gonna need this. This is a click team game. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, this is a point-to-click horror game. I wouldn't need your compass. Gets lost in the one point where you can walk. Somebody just tweeted at me a picture of fucking Walter White in, in like, black and white. It says, Walter White was haunted. <laughs> fucking splash screen when you get jump scared. <laughs> I love all the artwork when you eventually, like, what the... Oh, just... The ground just ends. Sometimes I really do be thinking about dying in this game just to see Iwato's beautiful paintings. Yeah, the paintings look amazing. My favorite Should one I so far has been like the foxy one with all the little hands coming out of him. Yeah. Dude, shout out to Iwato. Gotta get that dude on analog someday. Hopefully. They make, you know like, that the, all uh, the, they make the art? All the, yeah. Like, I, I would love to, like have him do a promo poster someday although I, I think he's kind of backed up work wise right now so I don't want to like bug him or anything I also know that literally everything he's ever done for a fan game has been fucking free yeah right I remember hearing about that that's insane like I would totally char like I would totally pay for that kind of artwork that they've made yeah all right let's also wait, mm -hmm. but before you before you get back into this I just found a fan model of like a stylized FNAF plus Foxy and you have got to see this before we get back into the swing of things. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Is there a way to pause this game? Is this one of those? I just oh, just okay, that just brings me back to the main menu, cool. Yeah. Yo! Oh my, that's so cool. I. This is what I mean when I say that, like, purposefully scary designs in FNAF games can be really sick. I, any day, would take a purposely scary, um, 
a purposely scary design over one that's less scary. Also, to anyone who wants to see this uh, model, I'm just gonna send the Twitter link because you know I want I want the artist to actually get uh, the attention they deserve for it. Um, yeah, because this only has like seven, like 469 likes. Like this deserves thousands. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I, got, I gotta ask, what's your favorite out of the plus models? Ah, shit, that's hard. I... I am a huge fan of Chica. I really, really like her. Chica... Chica looks awesome. I feel like Chica's the one that gets, like... Um, I feel like Chica's the one that gets, like, a lot of crap, but I love her model so much. There's a lot of, like, little yeah. details. Everybody... Everybody, like, hates on FNAF plus Chica, but... It's, to me, it's like everything that I like about Wither Chica from FNAF 2, but just like polished and, and sort of like more fully realized. Yeah, and I love the detail with like the little dead eye. Yeah, it, it, I said this before on Twitter, but it's almost like somebody took a, like a rotted animal carcass and just like gutted it and, and threw its pelt over uh, like a, a machine. Kind yeah. of like Ducky in, in uh, Mysterious House. Yeah, that thing is so, so cool looking. <laughs> Why is the mouse cursor still there? It, it's gonna be there. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know how to get rid of it, so you just have to deal with it. Yeah, we can't. We can't. It's we a can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's just a visual glitch that came from Streamlabs. Did right. you, uh, did you know that uh, Chica has a dead eye because somebody shoved one of the cupcake's eyes into a socket instead of one of her proper ones. Yeah, it's got the same eye as the freaking cupcake puppet. It doesn't fit properly. Yeah. It's so it cool. It went well. I found out something that you might want to know about. Oh? Oh? What's on your mind? I thought that said, what's on your mid? <laughs> <laughs> I think the ghost left us a message. The form of an old school VHS tape. A VHS tape? What the fuck is that? I'm too young to know what that is. I don't know what that is. I only use CDs. CDs? DVDs, Zach. My god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I stumbled across it after my shift. It's trying to give us a message. A message about what? These fat nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure. It was just an old school cartoon episode. Something about it was off. Oh, what makes yeah, you say yeah. that? Where well, had the tape band? Was Freddy carrying a piece of an animatronic to a door that said the mangle? A mangle of parts? Why would the ghost need animatronic parts? <laughs> I don't know why that line is funny to me. <laughs> Maybe the ghost is building a new body. She's building the mangle. She's building all the mangly. Oh, the mangly. The mangle, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Let's see if the next tape will help us. I'll talk to you after. Good luck, buddy. Okay, okay so... Tonight Tonight, we really need to emphasize calling animatronics to our conveyor as often as possible because we cut it way too close last night. Yeah, yeah, we do. Also, like, so is Mangle, like, the end of this game where they're just, like, a mess of parts of, like, different characters? I'm willing to bet. I, I, I literally have not seen anything past night one until now, so this is, this is all new to me. Okay, so I called Freddy immediately before the ghost Freddy even shows up. I say good idea. I didn't even think that you, you, if ghost is in the building if now. The, if the ghost can enter as you're initially calling, then that would suck. But also, I just noticed that that audio cue is specifically for when one arrives, so you don't need to actually check the monitor to see when it's there. That is very nice. I didn't even realize that. It's like, uh, it's like Freddy in FNAF 1, how you can tell which camera he's on just by thinking about how many times he's laughed. Yeah. Okay, no flickering from Balloon Boy. I just wanna, I just wanna have an idea of who isn't haunted before I go calling another person. That's Freddy. 
Um, okay, doesn't look like there's any flickering with Foxy. No handprints, we'll call him. <laughs> Bonnie Bruni. Oh god, I wonder if there's like a special sort of jump scare for uh, if they're in the maintenance room. Oh, that would be amazing <laughs> if there was. Pastro, maybe try refreshing your browser sources and knobs to get rid of the ghost cursor. Cause like they have their head off, so wouldn't the endoskeleton just be jump scaring you? Unless it just like puts his head back on. He's like, hold on, I gotta get my game face before I beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nothing. Like, give, 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 give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, nothing from Balloon Boy. No flickering. No handprints. Nothing yet. There's quite literally nothing. Okay, anything from Foxy. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with Bonnie. Yar, stop looking at me, I'm trying to pee. <laughs> Sorry, Foxy. <laughs> it's just, I, he pees in a cup. I've seen him do it with my own eye. We were both just staring at each other. Staring at each other. It was extremely awkward. <laughs> uh, I love old FNAF songs. Okay, so it was Bonnie. Oh, sh shit. God, this man looks like Granddad. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, like, the first jump scare I got in this game scared the ever living crap out of me, but I'm kind of like, I kind of got used to them really quickly. What I like is that the fear in this game doesn't come from the jump scares. Yeah, I find it's like the atmosphere and the tenseness of like, you know, knowing that the numbers are going down on them slowly. So the longer you take to, um, the longer you take to find when it's haunted, you know that like, it's just getting harder and harder from there to keep track of everything. I feel like the longer the nights go, the more information is obfuscated from you. And that's fucking brilliant. Yeah, I, re I really, really like it so far. My one complaint I have had is the fact that, you know, I feel like you can ease- like, there's an- I feel like the, uh, information you need could have been easier, like, to convey- or more easily no. conveyed is what I'm looking for, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but, like, once you understand what's going on, it feels really good just to, like, flip through and try to do things efficiently and quickly. It's also the rare FNAF game that I actually think is fun. Yeah, I'm actually like, really enjoying they, this. Like, no offense to fan game creators, but sometimes y'all really do be forgetting that games actually have to be, like, fun enough to keep playing. No, like, actually, yeah. Okay, I don't- yeah. I don't think I've ever been more bored than when I had to sit through Five Nights at Candy's 2. I enjoyed Five Nights at Candy's 2 for some reason. I know. <laughs> I don't know how- I don't know, like, why that one's my favorite. I guess there's just like a lot of little details in it I appreciate. Okay. I didn't see any flickering or any fingerprints left by Foxy, so I think calling him might be a safe bet. It will, will you pick up the f It's like, I don't know when Junior's takes place, but I imagine this is like early 2000s, if, if if not, like, way, way earlier, like, sometime in the 80s. So just imagine, depending on what time it takes place, you pick up the phone and you greet Foxy different ways. <laughs> if this game takes place in the 80s, you're like... I actually don't know what would be an 80s unique greeting. I just imagine early 2000s, you ring him up on the phone and you say, What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll forget, like, Foxy. scary movie style. Yeah, and he's just like, <laughs> and then you just hear the fucking voice of the ghost girl. It's like, what? Okay, there is this one weird thing that keeps happening when I'm trying to like move the cameras around. Where on occasion, um, the camera just moves on its own. Like right there, I did not voluntarily move the cam. I'm not voluntarily moving the camera. It just glided around on its own randomly. Also, I have not found a single character haunted yet. I have had no um, indication that anyone's haunted yet. 
Like, why, why is it moving on its own? That That's weird. Maybe the mangle is just doing a little bit of trolling by grabbing the cameras and just kind of... <laughs> forcing it to move on its own. Okay, seriously though, like... Like, am I just... Am I just stupid, or have I not seen anything that indicated anyone's been haunted yet? Maybe oh, it's oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was just Chica entering, goddammit. What, like, why wait, is- uh, why? Freddy just left, check for handprints. No handprints, anywhere. Okay, uh, it's not Freddy, Foxy, or Chica, so, uh... Let's call one call, of them. Call Freddy. Uh, I'm gonna call Chica. Chica's lower. Oh, uh, that's true. Oh my god, what if it's the ghost of the fucking mouse cursor that's moving your camera? <laughs> your mouse cursor ghost is actually part of the game. It's not a glitch in the stream. It's a glitch in the, game. the ghost is doing that? The ghost can just move my camera around? Yeah. Oh, so I guess it was Chica. What? <laughs> the ghost what is con world? Wait. The ghost is doing that. What? The okay, so the ghost is moving the camera. Wait, is that actually that? Is that real? If you go back to the menu on the laptop, you get tips from Paul Bear. Oh. Wait, what? On the menu? <laughs> no, like uh, on the on the actual computer menu, not the menu of the game. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get out of my room, Mom. I'm playing Juniors. So, who, I just got a donation. Thank you, Slushy. That was very nice of you. Oh, Slushy. Nice to see you, bud. Hope you're doing okay. Okay, so the camera moving on its own is a hint that there's, like, that the ghost is in that room? Maybe. Alright, well, let's just call Freddy before the ghost is here. I guess we'll just take that as a, we'll take that as a hint. Oh, it said Chica was on the right of the arcade when the camera started moving on its own. Okay. While that wasn't properly established as much as it should have been, that is so fucking cool. That is really neat, but I wish I was literally told that in any capacity. At the same time, I really like the way that this game delivers information because it feels like an actual, like an episode of Ghost Adventures or some shit. Like, you're, you're seeing these minor paranormal occurrences and you're having to learn what are like actual telltale signs of paranormal activity and what are just red herrings. Yeah, it's 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 really cool when that uh, when that happens, but at the same time the game tells you at the very start what are telltale signs, so you'll so you're like you're conditioned to only look for those. Right. That that's my only thing really. It's like the game is very strange about what information it chooses to tell you and what information it chooses to just kind of leave by the wayside. And I guess there's like a little Paul Bear in the bottom there that tells you like tips, but you know. I didn't even think to click on that, so I guess that might be my fault. Okay, so the camera just moved- Okay, so the camera's moving on its own while somebody's in here. So somebody- I think either- I think it might be Foxy. Okay, uh, yeah, the camera keeps moving on its own when Foxy's in here. Okay. Okay, yeah. And you know what? We will call Foxy. No way, better call Foxy. Nice. So the ghost isn't active anymore. Okay, the ghost is in a new animatronic now. Okay, lights are flickering in here. Which one of you two? See if the lights keep flickering whenever when either Freddy or Chica leaves. 
Okay, so it's either Freddy or Chica. So we're just gonna we're just gonna call Bonnie. Since we know it's one of those two. Yeah. Oh, um, also chat. Uh just have to say this real quick. I know some of you, if I remember correctly, are actually frequenters of the Analog Game Jolt page. And right. there's that whole update where I was talking about the fact that uh, production halted because my PC was having some serious issues. Um, while I'm not making any absolute promises, as of right now, uh, through preliminary tests, it seems that my PC is actually back to a proper working state. So... Um, production should be continuing anytime soon, um, and the reason I, I talk about this on a pasture stream is, you know, again, because, uh, while I cannot reveal in, in an absolute capacity, uh, what pasture's involvement is, uh, their, uh, pasture is, is working with me on the project. And I'm very excited to be. I'm very excited to be just working on it again in general. It's been a while. Shameless advertising, that's what we like to see. Well, I am I like advertising analog here because it's not just a me thing. Like, I I like this because it's, it's bringing more attention to a project that Pastra is also in. And we support the homies. Alright, so the puppet's in here. And the camera was moving on its own. Okay. The camera was moving on its own for a minute. Okay, yeah. Um. Oh, but there's too many of them in here. Okay. I think it might Boopus be the Noopus says, gonna do some Lyra art for the stream. <laughs> holy fuck, that's Maybe exciting. The the uh, Boopus. Okay! Holy, holy shit, okay. Yeah, that was Foxy. I guess Foxy uh, did oh. come in there and start moving the cameras. The last time I got art from Boopus, it was one of the most, like, stunning things I'd ever seen. So, this is exciting. Oh yeah, Beep Boop stuff is amazing. Okay, so yeah. Um... Pastra... Yeah? Not to alarm you... Yeah? But we just got fan art of you and Paul Bear passionately kissing. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got what? <laughs> you just got better of you passionately making out with Paul Bear. I'm sorry. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Look in your fucking Discord DMs. <laughs> you can't be serious. Why did you have to write Faz ass Nexus? Why? Uh, I, um. Nexus, I trusted you. I. I, uh. Mm, okay. Nice. <laughs> uh. Thank you for the fan art. Um. It exists it's, uh, now. <laughs> we can just like, if, if you look at it a certain way, you can just interpret it as you guys like very passionately hugging, for 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 solace and comfort in this paranormal situation. True. No, chat. I'm not showing you. I'm gonna retry the night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play it's juniors. Okay. Chat. Chat. Um. In approximately 10 seconds, I'm going to post the link in chat. Alright, there's... There was four of them in there. I don't think... Okay, the animatronic wasn't haunted yet. If you if you look at the account that says MRAMUJI, that's, that's my... That's one of my YouTube accounts. Just, uh... Copy that Twitter link into your URL okay. and get immediately assaulted by this artwork. Okay, so some one of these guys is a ghost in here. It's either Bonnie or uh, it's either Bonnie or Freddy. Ah. Uh, and they both left at the same time. 
This is flashing me back to the time when we saw the fucking uh yen past gotcha life. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> that was the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay, so it's, it's, it's either Bonnie or Freddy. It's one of the two of them. And they keep going into the same rooms as each other. Like, they are constantly moving together. But since I know it's one of them, I'll just call Foxy. Okay, wait, Bonnie left. And it seems like the activity has stopped. So, we're gonna say it's Bonnie. And if I die, that's tragic. Bonnie? Okay, cool. It was. Okay, good. We hit those. Okay, I think... Cool. I love how half of the memes from this stream are either about Weed Bear or the fucking cursor. The ghost cursor that's just there. Okay, ghost is in a new animatronic. Somebody's haunted. Okay, lights are flickering. Lights are flickering. Bonnie and the puppet are in here. Oh, and Chica. Okay, the puppet isn't in here, and the light- f the lights stopped flickering. Ooh. Where'd the puppet go? Oh, we're getting a good amount of art from, uh, Real Arthur DR on Discord, um, about the stream. There's one of- Okay, it's definitely the puppet. Uh, there's one of Weed Bear saying, skill is shooty, and then there's one of, uh, Balloon Baby saying, sh shit yourself. <laughs> This is how lovely. It's actually really like it's really cool art. <laughs> okay. Ghost isn't active yet. Lyra, we don't see the link. Well yeah, because they DM the art to me on Discord. But uh Arthur, if you're if you're still watching uh Send me your wherever you post this online, uh, Twitter, oh. Instagram, <laughs> um, and I nice. will shout it out so people can can look at these masterpieces. Fingerprints when you appeared. upload them. Fingerprints are appearing, and I can't tell who's leaving them because they're gone by the time I find them. Okay, there's two <laughs> stacks of fingerprints now. Fingers so I... in the ass. Fingers uh... in the ass. Right, I had the Freddy. puppet called. Freddy. Wait, that's Freddy. Damn, you were- You had that one with the quickness, you were like, You fucking yeeted that animatronic chip in him. I am like, trying to get the motions down really fast in this. He clunks the, You are like FNAF 2 this game. I'm trying to, everything's friggin' time-based. And I- like, I, I'm finding the fingerprints, but the fingerprints I'm only finding after the animatronic is left, also, like, I need to call Bonnie or Chica. Yeah. I'm just gonna call Bonnie and hope for the best. Okay, God damn it! the fingerprints like, appeared again right as the animatronic was gone. Shit. How am I, like, ah! Oh no, people are shifting you and Paul Bear, this is bad, this is real bad. Oh, I think it might be Freddy. I just saw Freddy leave and the fingerprints appeared. Okay, okay. Freddy Bear it is, come on. And if it's not Freddy, then... Was it... Was it not Freddy? Um, don't... Don't this again. Right, yeah, because they're... I, I, I thought it was... Locked it his shit down. Right, because I was under the impression it was instant death. No, it just, like, drags it down a lot. Okay. Oh my god, Hohen... Appearance in the chat? I don't know if that's actually how you say. Is it Hoen or Hohen? In any case, uh, appearance in the chat? No way. Oh no, don't say Paulstra. Don't make a ship name. This is. No. Every single time I stream, there is either ships or simp jokes, and I had to filter simp out of the chat because it was getting spammed too much. No. That is not. just my. That is my curse. Uh, oh, uh, let's see... Supplier the Ninja. I don't really understand this game's mechanics, care to explain. Okay, so Junior's kind of works like Among Us in a sense, which is a really odd thing to say. 
but if we put aside the memes for a second and just look at Among Us from a gameplay standpoint, it is a, a fairly mechanically complex experience. Basically, we're a paranormal investigator, name of Quandobulus Dingle, that's not actually his name, but I would like to headcanon that. Um, we're looking at the cameras, and we're trying to see signs of paranormal activity, and we basically have to suss out which one of the animatronics is haunted, because there's only one ghost in Juniors, um, and we have to find out which animatronic it inhabits. If we guess the wrong one, uh, then there's a very high chance that we could have our shit kicked in. That was... That was the nice way of putting it. Yep. They just give us a good whole clobbering. Yeah. Damn, that was, a, that was a concise explanation of Juniors. Oh yeah, also the animatronic stability, like all of them, uh, gradually lowers over time, so uh, we basically have to call one of the non-haunted animatronics to a little maintenance room that we can go to so that we can uh, perform some, some lovely little surgery on them. But if we call in the haunted one, uh, we just immediately get clobbered. No signs of Balloon Boy yet. Okay, um, I just saw somebody leave, and a fingerprint was left. Ooh. Also, God, I just realized there's fucking five rounds this night. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. I think it might be the puppet. Although, the puppet just came back, so maybe not. The horror. Okay, puppets in here. No fingerprints lot yet. Also, if you guys really want to see the fucking Paul Bear art, I retweeted it on my Twitter. You can look on there. Okay, I don't think it's Sigh. Like no indication. Okay, why do the fingerprints only ever show up when I'm looking away? Okay, but like Foxy was in here, so I'm gonna check for Foxy. Crossing my fingers. Also, somebody said that one of the knights has like okay, Foxy. seven rounds and literally no downtime. That's just cruel. The ghost just fucking hops from machine to machine. Okay, any fingerprints? That's... Any fingerprints? No, That's evil. it's not Foxy. That is vile and putrid. Okay, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna grab the I'm gonna grab the juniors employee that was in here. <laughs> employee, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the the junior staff that was in here by the collar and just scream at them. Why? Okay, was it Freddy? Why did you do this? Oh uh, my god. <laughs> the fingerprints are my least favorite because like you have to specifically catch them when they're leaving. Right. I wish that they did like a little, like, whichever animatronic was leaving the print had like a little animation as it was leaving <laughs> camera of them putting their hand up to Mommy the camera. Sprinkle. Also, I just saw a $50 donation. Thank you so much. Holy shit. 50 old buckaroonies. They keep that's funding, that's funding the therapy that you're gonna need after all the Paulstra fan art. True. I cannot believe that the weed bear has become a thing. Okay, the puppet just left, and there was a fingerprint left there, so... Puppet? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking okay, slushy commenting. This is the single most piece of fan art I've ever seen. True. I'm going to die, by the way. Their stabilities are getting insanely low, and I haven't had the time to be able to call them because I haven't had any indication of who it was. Ghost has entered a new animatronic. Nice. Okay. Uh, it's in Bonnie. Ooh. It's so weird how it's only 2.40 p.m. for me. Maybe this game will be long enough that we'll just be, like, streaming into the night. If we are planning on beating this. I hope so. I hope to. Like, at least- I hope to at least beat Night 5. Because I'm assuming it's all five nights, like a typical Five Nights at Freddy's game. 
but it's a Freddy. Okay, any flickering lights? No flickering lights. Okay, new animatronic. Okay, wait. <laughs> I saw that Dylan Woodward Bridget. Lyra sounds kind of kit. Okay. Sounds kind of what? Hey, Lyra, same time zone. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell no. Lovey puppy. Yeah, me too. Why can't this chat just behave for two seconds? Okay, it wasn't the puppet. It was, ah, uh, it was Freddy. Right, because the, the, I lost control of the camera when it, when the puppet and Freddy were in there. So I couldn't tell. Oh, you know, it, it, it's really hmm? cool. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was just gonna say thank you, Cory Bye, for all the gifted sub or uh, like the gifted like membership subs, whatever you want to call them. That's so nice of you. <laughs> Man, I wonder. I wonder how many membership subs we'll have by the end of stream. I wonder that too. Yeah, thank you so much for buying those gifted membership. It's so nice of you. Oh my god, so many people are getting them. When will we get pasture merch? Uh, I'm working on like some pretty important like uh, projects right now, so I'm not really focused on merch anytime soon. But that'd be something cool for the future. Okay, though, like the the thing that keeps tripping me up, it's not the camera moving on its own, it's not the lights flickering, it's those stupid handprints. The handprints cost like cost me way too much time. Cause like right. <laughs> yeah, cause like the handprints only appear when they leave the room. So if I, like, you know, if I if I go to do anything and that animatronic happens to leave the room, like, I, I can't use that information. That information is completely useless to me. Yeah. yeah. Also, thank you, Pan Panic. Both of your voices are so gender. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is Pastor Gender and Lyra Gender. The ideal gender. Right. Okay, so I got I got to figure out how to like. Night six will give right. you nostalgia. I should probably call Freddy. Shit. While there's no anima, while there's no ghost. How much have you let your audience know about Sonic CD Part Two? I've let them know nothing. I'm gonna try this game for okay, myself good, tomorrow. Good. Okay. I just wanted to know like the amount of information they had because I didn't want to like say anything. Because I'm usually the one who knows more out of anybody. Okay, it's either the puppet- it's either the puppet or Foxy that's haunted. Yeah. Okay, it is, uh, wait, no. That's just the limit of the camera movement. He keeps moving. Fox, you wanna take over my camera? Shout out to FNAF Fangers of the Dungeonly Scary Animatronics. It's gotta be one of my favorite genders for real. Real! Ah. Uh, whenever the camera finally started moving while the puppet was in the room, it was after Foxy showed up, so I still can't tell. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Lyra's little sprite thing is so gender. Oh, thank you. I, uh, this is an, this is an edit of the one I used on the Pop Goes Arcade stream. I literally just whipped this up, like, right before stream started, so. It's Lyra Foxy. It look too bad. It's Foxy? Okay. Work that sucker to death. Come on now, work that sucker <laughs> to death. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm glad that, like, almost every time that you, uh, lose in this game, it feels, like, justified. Like, you feel like you've learned something. Yeah, like, I, I die and I'm like, oh, yeah, it was because so-and-so was in the room and I just didn't pay attention to that information. Or, like, you know, oh, I was taking too much time to do so-and-so. Honestly, I'm gonna say it. This is probably the most, like, in my personal opinion, the most competent, um, translation of the standard FNAF formula into a more fleshed out experience from a gameplay standpoint. Yeah, absolutely. Because this is like... Okay, 
there's so much to this, but it's not like overwhelming. Every mechanic works in in really good synchronization. Okay, there's no glitching on Balloon Boy, so I'm assuming Balloon Boy- I'm assuming if I don't see glitching on Balloon Boy's panel, he is safe to call. Right. Okay. We like... love wheat there. Okay, it's- it's the puppet. The lights started flickering the second the puppet arrived. And we'll call the puppet over. The thing that kills me is that the animatronics go like right back into the restaurant after you've done put the chip like you're uh, you're done putting the chip in them. So does that mean that as soon as you do it the the conveyor belt just fucking shoots them? Like <laughs> jettisons them back to the get restaurant. Fucking launched They yeah, they because they're like they go right back. So <laughs> the conveyor yeah. just fucking zoom. And Foxy's just over here, like, Gmod ragdolling on the conveyor, like, Mama Cuevo! Oh. Was Chica perfect? Fuck it, dude, you're killing it. Let's, let's go. Alright, call him Bonnie. Animatronic at Mach 7 speed. Ghost has entered a new animatronic. Okay. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the I super do not, chat. I do not like the sound. I do not like the sound that plays when you find the ghost. It, it adds more tension than it releases. Uh, Cory, bite. I actually think that may be intentional. I don't think you're supposed to gain a complete release of tension until the investigation oh. of the night is over. Somebody just left and left a handprint. Um, maybe Freddy. I don't think it was Freddy. I saw Freddy in there when the handprint was left. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna risk it being Foxy because I need to call him. <laughs> uh, Link also you'll says you'll your pastor check, check your Twitter, Twitter mentions. I do not think face. he can right now. He's yeah, currently no. fighting for his goddamn life. I I I'm not gonna be able to check Twitter until the stream's over. But I'll I definitely will. Okay. Okay, I think you might be right about Freddy, actually. Maybe I'm just that good. <laughs> nope! <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking funny. Nope! <laughs> the puppet's design in this game is so strange in, like, the best way. I know, I love the puppet's design. I got the weird baby face. Yeah, and then, like, his entire body seems to be made out of, like, scrunched leather. Yeah, I think I think my biggest problem right now is just the fact that I keep forgetting about trying to track the puppet. I get so focused in on the visual aspect, I forget to click the little speaker to get the music box going. I really want to, like... The, hmm? As a general rule of thumb, you should click the music box every time you open up the camera feed. Yeah, absolutely. Every single time without fail, I should always, always have the music box on. There is nothing, like, there is nothing stopping you from doing it. It's just information you need. So, yeah, because yeah, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to, like, think of, like, a general strategy so I can sort of, you know, get into a swing of it. Because, um, you know, we got the fingerprints, force camera movement, and the flickering lights. Um... I've died a lot because I haven't been listening to the marionette music, so open up a camera, always turn on marionette music, um, look around, look for any force movement, take note of who's there, call whoever isn't on the camera when you, the moment you notice anything in the downtime. And my thing too is, uh, while this may be, th this didn't work with Freddy, but I'm willing to bet that you may be able to at least glean a vague idea of who left a handprint by checking nearby connected cameras. Do they do they only travel to cameras that are close? Actually, that's a good point. I'm not sure. I mean, like if, some... this, if this game is programmed in, in, a, in a more realistic fashion, I would assume they just move from room to room and don't just, like, 
teleport to like the other end of the restaurant. But it's hard to say because like every fan game does that idea differently. Like whether or not they just like leap across the building or they actually systematically move through rooms. I've always been a fan of the systematic moving through rooms thing because the how the f how do they teleport that far? Oh, yeah, in a game like this, it's much more important, too, because it's very information-based, right? Right. Oh, uh, this is night three, by the way, not night two. Yeah. Um, also, over here, uh-oh, bad decision, Lyra. <laughs> I'm all for the Mandela catalog hey, references. Friend, yeah, Lyra, how are you all today? Oh, are you now? Oh, doing oh, very good. are you now? Oh, my God, it's... Oh, are you now? Please, no, Dalton, oh, are you? no, don't ruin this momentous occasion. Dalton just super chatted. <laughs> Dalton, Dalton... Dalton sighting. Hey, Pastra and Lyra, how are y'all today? I'm doing well. What about you, Pastra? I'm doing good. Okay, but yeah. Great. So, does anyone... Okay, Great. like... You know, I, I, I want to know before I start another attempt, also, because, like, I got some food now, so uh, I'm going to just be... I'm going to eat a little bit before I start another attempt. Um, I want to know, chat, do you guys know... If when an animatronic moves, whether or not they move to a nearby you room or not. Belt eating repaired animatronics holds a secret to FTL travel. Oh my god, you're right. Thank you, skinny hedgehog. But yeah. Do they move to close by rooms or do they just go wherever the hell they want? You did not just say who the hell is Dalton. You know, Dalton Dalton from the Dalton Files. Yeah, from the Dalton Files. <laughs> I'm eating pasta, guys. I'm eating pasta. Some gluten. Are you fucking serious? Wow, cannibalism. I got some gluten-free pasta with. Oh, are those little pepperoni bits. Oh my god. I'm eating like a king right now. I don't care if it's free. What is this gluten shit? No, sir, it's gluten-free. I don't fucking care. Them shits in my bread. But uh, I'm assuming that nobody in the chat knows if the animatronics like. You know, we'll yeah, it's not looking like there's a concrete answer. We can test it. We can trial and error it. I'd rather yeah, learn. We may have to. Um, also, when I when I read the message by Skinny Hedgehog, I originally thought it said the Junior's Conveyor Belt Eating Repaired Animatronics Holds the Secret to FTM Travel. And I was like, no way, female to male transitioning through a conveyor belt? Yeah, you go, in, you go on the conveyor belt. And you come out the other end, fully transitioned. It's the power of it. It's, it's the FNAF fandom pipeline. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna... Wait, does that does that mean that, like, Gomo came in from the other side? Yes. <laughs> Take the gluten out of the damn bread. Gomo really do be going through the conveyor belt, but in reverse... Wait, gluten-free, are you allergic to gluten, or do you just prefer gluten-free pasta? If you prefer gluten-free pasta, I'm sorry, but who the hell are you? <laughs> it's like, that's like saying you like eating, like, a burger charcoal black. If you like eating gluten-free pasta, you are a vindictive <laughs> monster. Don't! If there is a hell... I got food in my mouth. <laughs> You're right. I can't make you laugh that hard. I'm gonna choke. I'm not gonna go full in. <laughs> All right. I still got my food with me. I'm gonna eat intermittently between attempts because I feel like I'm gonna die again. The pasture choking stream it like turns into a memorial stream because you're just like laying dead on the ground. It's like it's like the Germa peep the horror stream where he just fucking collapses and everybody's left to just watch his body for like eight hours until the police show up in his house. No! <laughs> so, this attempt, I'm gonna, if I see fingerprints, I'm going to start working under the logic that the animatronics can move to neighboring rooms. And if that ends up doing nothing for me, I'm going to assume it's not true. Yes, animatronics do go to nearby rooms. Okay, somebody in chat did just say they go to nearby rooms. So Okay, thank God. That's good. If I see if I see fingerprints then I'll start working under that logic. Cool. Alright. Let's uh we'll call Freddy right away. No way no none of them are haunted yet. I don't know about you, but like one of the things I love about a lot of the Five Nights at Freddy's games is when like 
you learn enough about the mechanics that you kind of just get into a swing of things and you feel like you can do stuff really, really quickly and efficiently. Right. That, I feel like that's at its best in FNAF 2. Absolutely. I think out of all the games, I've always liked the gameplay of FNAF 2 the most. Not because I think it's the best, but rather just because I think it's the most fast-paced and fun. I've always been a huge fan of the 4 gameplay. True. I like how ga like 4 is more slow-paced. I think the only thing I'm saying is I just think FNAF is the most fun. But in terms of gameplay complexity and actually like being a solid horror gameplay experience, 4 is definitely up there with the best. Of course, it's like alongside FNAF 1. Okay, so it was Foxy. Because like if, if we're viewing FNAF 2 through the lens of a horror game, it's a little bit... I don't know, I don't like how you just don't... Not only are you not, like, encouraged to check the cameras because you're constantly winding the music box, but, like, in an in a playthrough where you're actually trying to play the game efficiently, you will almost never see another camera than the prize corner. That's the thing about FNAF 2. The two things about FNAF 2 that stop it from being, like, my favorite, um, has always just kind of been the fact that, um... Okay, the lights are flickering a lot when I see Foxy. Oh, but the puppet's in here too. Okay, yeah, it's Foxy. Okay. Yeah, like the thing about FNAF 2 to me that um, I was never a big fan of was the fact that it's a game that's all about looking for animatronics on cameras, and yet you're only ever using one camera. And the only reason you're using that one camera was because that mechanic literally had to be developed because without it, you literally had no reason to ever check the camera. Right, and the, the, I really I hate the forcedness of that. It, it really feels so, like, shoehorned. I yeah. think FNAF 2 could be way better if there's more thought put into the, uh, the mechanics. Because, like, I don't know, in, in FNAF 1, I like how um, they have Freddy, who, like, is a constant power drain and, like, almost does not leave your door once he gets to it. So you kind of have to stall him by checking the cameras. Okay, a fingerprint just appeared as body got in. So I'm going to assume... Watch well, let's, let's test this out. Okay, it can- fingerprints can appear when an animatronic enters the room as well. Okay. Uh, call balloon boy. That's really valuable information. I mean, like, I, that's the thing though, is like, you never get to use- you never get to use any other cameras in FNAF 2, um, other than the music boxes, you have no reason to. But also, like, I feel like in FNAF 2, you have 11 animatronics, so it's supposed to be, like, super overwhelming. But, like, half the roster does the exact same thing. Right. Which, you know, like, I guess I, you I, could say that all the characters in this game also do all the same thing, but the game itself is kind of built around the fact that every character kind of has a similar thing going on. And also, it makes sense because it is one spirit. Yeah, and you're not, like, you're not, like, fending yourself off of, like, a bunch of animatronics that are coming at you. It's more so like you're just trying to do your investigation work before your time runs out. Yeah. Okay, doesn't oh, look like- Oh no! Doesn't look like it's either of these two. Did Sheepy! I... Oh. Hmm? Past, you're not gonna like this. Oh? You know, you know Sheepy? Yes, I know Sheepy. The, the myth, the legend. Yes. Just through, just through, uh, Palstra fan art. Of course. <laughs> I'm retweeting this though because it is sadly incredibly well drawn. Also, Sheepy, I'm calling you out. The way that you draw Paul Bear is is very. If if I okay, even if I saw this at a first glance, I would have been like, furry. Okay, so they both left. There's a fingerprint in here. No fingerprints. Oh, there's fingerprints where Chica is. Uh, it might be Chica. In all seriousness, no, she'd be thinking. Was not Chica! <laughs> oh my god. That fingerprint was left preemptively. It was Bonnie. That, uh, that caught me the fuck off guard. I'll be <laughs> real. 
Uh, that one, that one, maybe, uh... About to stick clench my ass a little bit, and I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> Can we see this fan art? Oh my god. Oh, you didn't send it. Oh, wait, no, it's, uh, hold on, I can get it. Alright, I'm, 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 food... it. I'm taking a food break in between attempt, guys, so apologies if every time I die there's a little bit of a pause. I gotta eat this pasta. <laughs> Fucking, my tweets just being flooded with people responding to these artists like, What have you done? And then Sheepy's just sitting over here like, What have you done? I mean, literally earlier today, Sheepy um, drew me and my friends as Weezer. I saw that. Also, here you go. Oh my god. I'm, I'm definitely very much wheezing. We love Weezer in this household. There's some good pasta. This pepperoni's good. No way, pepperoni. Okay, I will say, though, learning that um, the animatronics retrace hand smudges to the haunted character. What does that tip mean? Wait. Retrace hand smudges to the haunted character. I think it's just telling us what we already knew. No, like, I think my, my general consensus with this game currently is the fact that it's kind of weird. I went into this expecting to be absolutely horrified. And it's not to say that this game isn't scary. It's really, really tense. But what I found is that I'm having more fun than I've been, like, terrified, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, the experience is tense. Oh, it's extremely tense. There's so much suspense. Like, you're sitting here. And like, I would rather a well-designed game than a shitty one that's scary. Oh, absolutely. Like, like this isn't like absolutely terrifying, but it's so tense and suspenseful because you feel like you're constantly on the clock. You feel like the longer you take to find things, the harder it gets for you. And then, you know, like it, it feels good because you the game gives you everything you need in order to deduce that information. Sure, it doesn't teach you to you in a very... um easy to understand manner, but once you get the hang of it, you get kind of into a swing of things where you understand what you're doing. Yeah. It's insanely fun. It's probably one of the most fun fan games I've played in a while. Probably the most fun I've had playing a fan game since Treasure Island. Real. Also, um, a little off topic, but do you ever have moments when you're, like, on the edge of sleep, and you start, like, thinking about something, and you're so tired that you're your own thoughts just kind of get away from you. It's almost like you're dreaming, but you're still awake. Yeah, I know what you mean. I had one of those moments last night, and and I I was so deep in thought that I conjured up, like, a an entire alternate ending for Sonic CD. And I was so, like, lost in that space that I genuinely thought the ending was real, and I was just thinking about it. Had the snap back to reality moment, and I was like, aww. That's just doesn't tragic. Because I, I thought of this ending to where, like, it was basically there's two endings of CD. One was, like, the, the scrapped Final Fever boss fight with Robotnik, and when you were done with it, uh, Robotnik would, would fly away in his little uh, ship thingy. And then um, Sonic would zip past uh, one of the past signs. Uh, because it, it was always weird to me how you fight the final boss in, in the good future, but then... Sonic is just seemingly in the present by the the ending animation. So somewhere weird. between those two events, he he had to have gone into the uh, the past. So I thought of that, and then I thought if you had all the time stones, it would be really cool if there is an ending to where uh, when you beat Robotnik, as you're like on your way to go to the past sign, Metal Sonic just knocks you down, um, and then fucking like slams a future sign on the ground and drags you past it and he, like drags you even farther into the future oh. and then you have the final boss fight in like this this weird far future zone that's really cool 
Either that or like the idea of in general a boss fight where you switch you time you periods and have yours? to take advantage of the different level geography. Hmm. Here, just a second. I'm just gonna bring this up, plate up, real quick, and then I'm gonna continue playing. Got it. Anyways, well, fast just gone. Um, I'm living near walls. <laughs> I may make a Junior's video after this stream. Do not quote me on this. I may be making a Junior's video after this stream releases. Because, I don't know, this game is really cool. I feel like somebody needs to make coverage of this title other than fucking Theft King. <laughs> Blink twice if Pastor's holding you hostage. Buddy, I don't think you get it. Um. To the. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, to the person who asked Blink twice if, if Pastra's holding you hostage, who are you talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe it. Do you know what would happen right now if I suddenly decided to stop going to work? A business big enough that it could be listed on NASDAQ goes bellies up, disappears, ceases to exist without me. No, you clearly don't know who you're talking to. So let me let me clue you in. I am not the danger, Skyler. Wait, if, uh, I'm not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot and you think of me? No, I am the one who knocks. Anyway. <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Sorry for the delay about that. I literally had to like search up the fucking Walter White monologue because I didn't have it memorized. All right, I'm back. Hey. Ah, all right. We're gonna try this again. I don't. I, I was killed by Chica that time, right? Yeah. Let's try this. Call Freddy. Oh my, no, my cat just jumped up on my lap. No, please, cat, don't do this to me. <laughs> now is not the time, kitty. Okay, ghost isn't an animatronic. Cool. Okay, Freddy just arrived. Bonnie's there. No signs of him being haunted. At least not yet. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so it's not it's not Bonnie, we'll call him next. Just wanted to say you both look really cool. Thank you! That means a lot. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, I think it's Chica. It was Chica. Oh, uh, we'll call boy. No <laughs> What the hell is- What are you- What are you doing? Look behind you. 
don't do that while I'm playing this. This is in Lyra. You sh okay. Look behind you. I I I'm good. I'm fine. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Just randomly choosing to spook me while I'm playing this. Okay, I don't hey, see I had to make it more interesting somehow. I didn't have the music box on. No fingerprints, no nothing from Foxy. I think Foxy's fine. There's been no signs of Foxy Mr. being haunted. Mr. the flyer is holding you hostage. I can't blink! Okay, there was a finger- there are handprints in here. Um... Handprints did not follow Foxy. Where'd Freddy go? Handprints in here. Alright, so whoever was in here... Okay, handprints are in here again. Somebody says, uh, oh, somebody says, Lyra how? Kid named Lyra. Lyra, I need to know what voice modulation you're using. Oh no, Lyra <laughs> fully master hostage. Um, it is really hard to explain how I did that. Okay, I think it's, I think it's Freddy. Let's find out. Was not Freddy. Oh god, me fucking like doing garbled 8 bit breathing on stream reminds me that we need to stream PT someday. Oh, that would be a ride. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't uh, I didn't get him in time. It was Chica. Okay. I'm g I feel like I'm getting better at this though, because like, I'm under- I'm understanding each of the hints better. The handprints are the ones I really needed to learn. <laughs> oh, you can't actually play the- oh, you can. There we go. Okay, nobody's haunted yet, nobody's haunted yet. Puppet's in here. Ly Lyra, you're telling me you didn't get kidnapped by a ghost? No, that's why I said it was complicated. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's either the doesn't seem like the puppet or Chica's haunted. Um Old Men Gaming. That Larry need to know how you did that. It's so fucking cool. Um The very vague explanation is that it involves a separate audio interface. Um, because the mic I use is actually, like, a proper studio mic, so I have to plug it in through Focusrite's, uh, Scarlet USB. Anyway, I have a separate digital interface on my computer that I use, and I can actually connect it to other programs, not just, uh, not just my, my main mic. So... Uh, I can connect it to Logic Pro, which is what I'm used to make music, but I also am, am very keenly aware of how to do certain types of vocal modulation on that program. So if I connect it to there temporarily, I can have the audio outputting from that feed into my Discord mic. That's that's like the, the bare bones explanation. It's actually, yeah, it's not voice mod. I peeped the horror. Real. Can't find anybody. Okay, force movement. It's either the puppet or Foxy. Okay. was Foxy. Mm. Calling the 
puppet... It, I, it's really nice when you're able to call the puppet, because you don't have to worry about listening for them anymore for a short time. Yeah. Also, uh, one... If you're, if you're interested in voice modulation, uh, one plugin I would recommend, although it does cost money, is a uh, Bitspeak. Uh, it makes your voice sound like it sound like like an old 1980s speak and spell. Um, yeah. Oh, so the Pit Crusher and Logic Pro never something like that. I've never considered using a DAW for live effects. Yeah, it's something I've never seen anybody else do before as well. But it's just kind of convenient to me. In okay. any case, uh, it's funny because I actually found out about Bitspeak because I learned that it was what uh, Neil Cesariga used to make his voice sound weird in a lot of the songs on Spirit Phone, like No Eye Girl, uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. In any case, funky. Oh god, I'm gonna have to. Transcribe this message. Pooh for brain says Optimus Prime. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Good to know. Good impression of that sound. Very good. Very good. Better than I could do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, force camera movement. Force camera movement when Bonnie went in here. Uh, that's a pretty dead giveaway. Watch it not be Bonnie. Okay, it was Dead Bonnie. Giveaway. Dead giveaway. Okay, who's at the lowest? Uh, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay, Ghost is back in an animatronic now. Oh my god, I just fucking caught sight of the work in progress of what uh, Boopus is doing right now. Fucking Christ, you always hit it, like, straight out of the ballpark with your art. Shit is absolutely insane. Yeah, Boopus' stuff is amazing. Okay. Yeah, I- every time this individual says that they're going to draw something, I- I just pog. You're welcome, Lucas. Okay, pop it in here. <laughs> Share on the toaster. Yes, this is FNAF Among Us. Okay, was there anyone else? Okay, it looks like... Any handprints when Bonnie came in here? There is a handprint after... Wait, is that a handprint? It's very vague. Eyes on Bonnie. Okay, Freddy's pretty low. <laughs> Somebody just commented on the fucking sheepy fan are just fascinating. Like they're like like some scientist studying a strange specimen. <laughs> Okay, I don't think it's Freddy, and I need to call him, like, now. <laughs> Lyra, opinions on mashed potato. Well... It good. <laughs> it good. I certainly, I certainly have an affinity mashed potatoes if they're well seasoned and and have the right consistency okay I'm just going to assume it's Bonnie crossing my fingers it was not Bonnie uh, okay call him right now holy shit oh no who else could it be I think it's your mother. I don't think so. 
Lyra oh. and Astro, what's your favorite video game? Well, Pass just didn't enjoy yes! video yes! about Sonic <gasps> Oh my god, mm! dude! Yes! High five, high five, oh high five. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Holy shit. I, d I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't know how close you were to beating it. Jesus. I, I saw the handprints appear the second I heard the puppet laugh- or like the puppet music Jesus. box. What kind of gun would Blankman use during a zombie apocalypse? Okay, let's see what this one is. He would use a Tommy I'm, gun. I'm genuinely excited. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Woo. Imagine the, the sick motherfucker that would just leave it. That person just doesn't care for the hard work. Oh no, Freddy looks scared. <laughs> oh, Mangle. <laughs> Me when I. <laughs> I love Bonnie's little glasses. Oh man, I have a, I have a feeling that either night five or night six is going to be like a mangle only boss fight night. Yeah. Oh, Bonnie's going now. Oh wait, you see the ghost went from. F what? Oh, it went from Freddy to Bonnie, and now Bonnie's carrying parts. Oh, so the reason why so the reason why the ghost is possessing the animatronics is because it's trying to build itself a proper body and make the mangle. Wait. But then why would Freddy be afraid of the mangle when he's already possessed? Oh, that's weird. Why would the mangle even be able to move if Freddy was already possessed? That's really, really weird. Is Mangle a separate spirit? I don't think Mangle's a separate spirit. Spirit. At least not yet. But I think I think what's gonna end up happening is that the Mangle's gonna be some kind of final boss made up of all the characters on like the final night. Yeah. Alright, let's go night four. I like to think I'm getting pretty good at this. A new friend. Yeah, Mangle's 100 percent appearing on this night. In no way. Unless they don't. Because so I feel like all these tapes are building up to the mangle. I feel like mangle's gonna be some- Oh, ladder. What? Bring me up. Oh, hi. We're running out of time. My investigation ends soon. How troubling! <laughs> These are supposed to be like sad cutscenes, and I am like locked into this crappy voice I chose for him. We need to signal, signal, signal. We need to signal the ghost and juniors. Invade the thing they're protecting the most. The mango. Exactly. By now they know I'm with you. I'm what they want! So be it. You'll have to go through me first. Throw hands with the animatronic. After the next night, we'll take the ghost by surprise. You'll sneak into the basement. Figure it out from there. I'm glad to have a friend like you! I don't remember the last time I had someone to talk to. For as long as I can remember, it's just been myself and the spirits. It's a nice change of pace, you know? To have a friend like you around, looking at the big brain in the sky. You said it. Whatever is waiting for us in the basement. The mangle. It's nothing we can't handle together. True God friendship. damn, that's awesome. Mangle's gotta be the final boss. Alright, alright. Waste no time, waste no time. I'm 
scared for how Got many uh, rounds they want me to do of this now. Dude. Can what? Connection lost. What? You, what? Oh, can the can the haunted animatronic now take out cameras? Oh, that's exactly that is exactly what they can do. Okay, wait. It's the puppet. Just like watching it too. Okay, any signs from Bonnie? Any signs from Bonnie? <laughs> Doesn't look like anything from Bonnie yet. Yeah, is it even gonna tell you when the ghost re enters them? It does. There's a little text prompt on the top of the screen. Okay. D wait, did that pass already and I just didn't see it? It did, yeah. It kind of blended in. Okay. Oops. Balloon Boy? Oh, wait, there's a Fred Bear hint on the top. It is Balloon Boy. Connection got lost the, s the second I was looking in the camera with Foxy. Uh, and the ghost entered a new animatronic, so... Foxy? That's it. It was. Okay. That's convenient. Very. It's yeah, this funny game that we have to play it now because we... I literally just saw a post on Game Jolt about the fact that Derek is patching things. Oh, really? We're playing it. We're playing yeah, like patch. a. Oh, like and a that the patch should be out tomorrow. Or like still flickering. Okay, it was either it was either Freddy or Chica. Where did Freddy go? It's Freddy. Uh, call the puppet. I feel like when you get the opportunity to call the puppet, you should always take it. Because the puppet, yeah. having the puppet just no longer active for a little bit is extremely convenient. Right. Okay, new animatronics possessed. Lights are flickering, I Chica hate... Foxy, Chica Foxy Freddy. I hate the, the puppets, like, vaguely accurate anatomy. Okay, uh, it's... I think it's... <gasps> I, I think it might be Freddy. Taste your gaming. It might be Freddy. Uh, it's either him or Foxy. Okay, the lights were flickering and then it stopped when Foxy left. It was Foxy. Somebody needs to draw, like, Ragdoll Foxy being jettisoned on the conveyor belt while we both just stare on, like, fervently in agony. Fox. Watching him just get like mangled up by this, this, like when you have um a Gmod ragdoll that's like clipping through the floor and it starts like seizing up. <laughs> Foxy getting the like stuck thing. against the wall, and you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody said I'm doing that right now, Larry. I'm just struggling to edit it. Good, good. Okay, you know what? I 
I have a suspicion that it's either Bonnie Cheek or the puppet. It's one of those three. Hmm. So you know what? In the meantime, uh, if it's either Bonnie Cheek or the puppet, I'm calling Freddy. It was so funny today when I walked into my college math class for the first time and my professor just had the most, like, thick Russian accent you've ever- I DID IT! FIRST TRY! Holy- FIRST God. TRY NIGHT FOUR! I was not expecting that. FIRST TRY! Oh, and that was faster than night three! Sorry for interrupting you, I'm just very excited. I'm getting good at this. Oh my god, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I walked into class and it was like, if you have any questions about the course material, like, if you have any questions about course material, please do not hesitate to message me. And I was like, I love this man already. <laughs> I Okay, Um, before I start this tape, you reminded me, Back um back when I was in high school, right? I had to take this um I had to take this well I didn't have to, I, I chose to take this oceanography class because I find like um I find like a lot of stuff like related to the ocean like extremely interesting and I had to pick a science for grade twelve, right? So they had this oceanography class that went over like, you know, a lot of like science with just like marine biology, but as well as just like, you know, water in general. The thing was though, the teacher I had for this course had a really, really, really thick um, Indian accent, right? And the problem with this was the fact that in this course, one of the big things for a lot of the tests we did was that we had to spell a lot of the names of different species. And we were told about these different species that we had to spell extremely precisely by someone with the thickest Indian accent I've ever heard. And... Okay, no. to give you an idea of these species, um, okay, an example, right? There is a family of underwater creatures called Nidaria. How do you think you would spell Nidaria? N-I-D-A-R-I-A? <laughs> uh, you missed the silent C! Huh? Yeah, yeah, there is, okay, you spelled it correctly, except there is a silent C in front of the N. Of course. Or, oh, there was another, that, what, sorry? Look at the label <laughs> on the bottom side. Favorite pastry spaghetti noodle arm boy. Love the content. Heart. Oh, thank you so much, Steve from Smash Bros. Sorry, what'd you say? Look at the label on the bottom side of the tape. Oh no! <laughs> I know you're with him. Oh no! Uh. All right, let's watch it. Yeah, now I can't not watch it. We have to go into Junior's cutscene. What scary VHS tape? Oh, is it gonna be Chica next? Cause Chica's sleeping. Yeah, there oh, she yeah. is. The sweepy baby. She's just oh. eating. Don't, don't scare her. Little sweepy bird. She's like, she's got the pingu beak. Newt, 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 newt. No! Is she crying <gasps> blood? Oh. Oh. Uh-oh, Chica. Oh! Oh! We just- uh. We just saw a piece of the mangle. For a second, I thought you said we just saw a penis. Yep, you know. <laughs> Weirdest one I've ever seen, but we did. 
But okay, you know what? You know, I just realized watching that too. Re yeah. Did you watch the trail, like all the trailers for Juniors? Yeah. Do you remember the scene in the final trailer where there was a mechanical arm pulling a piece out of the balloon, baby? Yeah. That was definitely Mangle taking parts from him. Yeah. I don't like that. All right, so night five. The basement night. Basement night. Basement night. I. Basement night. I believe we're gonna be encountering N Mangle night six. That's what I think. I think it's gonna be a Mangle night for night six. Or maybe night well, five is Mangle. Mr. Man, Mr. Investigatory Quandelius Dingali, um, said that t tomorrow night we're gonna raid the basement, so... Right! Yeah, actually, I completely forgot about that, so this has gotta be Mangle night. Oh, uh, but what- what the hell's up with Night 6? Cause I've been- I've- <laughs> like so many- oh, we got a super chat. Pastry, do you have a favorite D&D oh. class? I do have a favorite D&D class. I play Bard every single campaign I'm in. Absolute favorite. I'm a huge fan of Glamour Bard. Uh, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Yeah, cause like, I don't know- I don't know if you were aware of what a lot of people have been saying to me about this game when I was, you know, announced I was gonna be playing it, but everyone's telling me that Night 6 is hell and that something crazy is gonna happen to me on Night 6. I don't know what- so I was expecting Night 6 to be the Mangle Night, but I guess you're right, Night 5 would be when we go to raid the basement. Last Night of Sanity! Somebody... Somebody just paid another person money to draw... Uh... Paul Stra fan art. Excuse me? <laughs> it's people really are funny. Dude. People are being paid to draw ship art of me and this N64 bear. Yes. Also, holy shit! Hmm. Somebody drew really, really well drawn like a uh, fan art of me as Walter White, saying, "I am the one who knocks." Because <laughs> when you were, because when you were gone, somebody asked if you were holding me hostage, and I read out the entire fucking like monologue of Walter being like ah uh, you think I'm in you think I'm in danger I am the danger I am the one who knocks <laughs> oh my god I love that freaking monologue also was the puppet coming out of this box before or am I just crazy I think he was maybe he was also I, I keep seeing really fucking cool art that, and I'm like trying to retweet as many of them as I can Let's see. So what's the plan? Oh, sorry. What's the plan, <laughs> Lyra? <laughs> um, uh, we we cook, Jesse. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I say we take the ghost by surprise. We just need a way to get into the basement in secret. I'll cover that. I found an entryway into the basement long ago. I locked it up as soon as I found it. I'm sure the ghost node exists, so you must be cautious. I'll do my best. I'll finish up my investigation tonight. We'll meet back here tomorrow. Oh, damn, that's it. So, that, basement that's night? Vague. That was vaguely threatening, like, how short that was. Okay, no, not basement night. We're just playing normal. What? So it's gotta be night okay. six. It's gotta be night six. Okay, Ghost is already in an animatronic. Damn, I was really expecting. Okay, puppets in here. No signs of movement. Foxy came in and there was a handprint. Right. Poggers. Get him. It wasn't Foxy. Oh, kill him. Oh. Wait. Did you have the music box playing? I did. That was a bad start. Wait. Um. Was the music playing when the handprint was left? Like when Foxy entered the room? Uh. I didn't notice. But the there's a new handprint in here and. Um. 
Okay, a new a new handprint just appeared as Bonnie and Chica came in. Which one is it? Damn. Uh. They left at the same time. Damn, Chica's cheating on Foxy. Eh? Can't believe this. You scandalous bird. It's Bonnie. It's Bonnie. It's definitely Bonnie. It wasn't Bonnie. Wait. It was Chica! Oh my god, I'm screwed. Yeah. This is hard. gotta take priority. Shouldn't the handprints move with the camera since they're attached to the screen? You'd think. Okay, handprints in here. Kind of she gets in here. Uh, no handprints anywhere else. No handprints anywhere else. I would mouth kiss Clyde. That, good, good to know. Thank you for the super chat. Wait, what did they say? Sorry, I was in Dragon Street. They said they want to mouth kiss Clyde. You know, somehow I wish I didn't ask. Okay. I'm seeing the handprints everywhere Bonnie's going, but now I'm paranoid. Yeah. I'm real lucky that people haven't gotten comfortable enough with me yet to, like, start saying that shit about Ramona. Okay, Bonnie. <laughs> Somebody said it. In terms of downtime, we have no downtime. <laughs> Oh gods, is this a seven rounds no downtime night? Okay, we'll see These if These uh... damn robots won't leave me alone. Bonnie? It wasn't Bonnie. You know, uh, I am really screwed this night. I have not... I've gotten, like, every single guess wrong so far except for one. So, like... Damn, man. You still spending those five nights at Frederick Fondle Bears? Frederick... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let myself... I'm actually just gonna let myself uh, die so I can try again. So uh, be ready for a jump scare. Yeah. Wait, it was Chica. <laughs> God, okay, now you have to like. The game okay. is giving you life. And it's Balloon Boy. So I just found two right away. Cool. Literally, you. You know how in um. Um, shit, what's his name? Uh, was, was streaming FNAF 1. Uh, he just had insanely fucking lucky RNG. Oh, freaking stressful? Stressful. There, sorry. I, I, I fucking spaced out on his name. Um, yeah, you, you took that and you just fucking threw it into Juniors. Yeah, I stole that freaking luck. Ain't no way. <laughs> I should have added this last I need to call my puppet. last super chat. Well, I guess I don't need to worry about the sound anymore. Okay. No lights flickering, no nothing with these two. Okay, okay, sudden movement. Foxy was the only one in here. Oh, I should've called Freddy, I'm stupid! <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Dementia. Dementia who? Knock, knock. Oh, I get the joke. Very funny. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Freddy's gonna kill me. Oh, never mind! Oh my god! Oh my god. It's literally the exact same as that one joke we have in the Klonga server, where it's like, Hey, do you want to know what they call me? Yeah? They call me Dementia Main. Right. Hey, do you want to know what they call me? 
I remember, uh, I remember one of those jokes where it was friggin' like, what's his name, like Muscle Man from the regular show. And it's just, you know who else has... You, you know who else has dementia. You know who else has dementia. You know who else... <laughs> I like it how I die to a haunted character in the game. It's like, yeah, don't call haunted once. Okay. You know what? That's not that... Like, this isn't that bad, though. Man, that was, like, totally based in a red pit. Okay. I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> Good. Okay, okay. Um, connection was just lost when the puppet went in there. Okay, it's the puppet. Team okay. meet. Oh wait, it's no. a super chat. You'll hear it in a sec. No force movement. No. Okay. I think. It's either... I think Freddy was the one in there. You know who else is possessing yeah, these yes. locations? Junior's location. Oh shit. That scared the crap out of me. The, the, the bang of my charger hitting the floor? Yes. <laughs> it's blue. Oh yeah, I just noticed you're at, you're at 199k. Yeah, I am. I'm like literally a thousand away from 200,000. Man. I'm happy to see your channel grow more and more. Hope you make it to 200k soon. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Thank you for the super chat. Uh oh. Okay, Ghost has entered a new animatronic. They can at least like provide you with pizza while you work. Okay, puppet's not in here. It's not the puppet. Okay. Uh. So that's Freddy and Foxy there. So, Freddy and Foxy are not haunted. Chica was on the conveyor. Wait, who was that? So we saw Freddy and Foxy while the cameras were disabled. Um, Chica was on her way in the conveyor, so it's probably Bonnie. Yeah. God damn it, somebody's asking me to go full Quandale Dangle mode. <laughs> no. Okay, it was Bonnie. Uh... Imagine if, like, one of these animatronics had the voice of Blondale Dingle. Oh, dear God. It's been two years, Daddy. Uh. <laughs> I really, really hate you. <laughs> okay, force camera movement while Cheek was in here. And Cheek was the only one in here. <laughs> Oh, Tiff, you can ask, ask Paul, Paul Bear, Bear for help, help on the status, status screen. screen. Huh. Hmm. What if Paul Bear called the bear? Good question. Okay, there was force movement in here. It's either it's either Foxy or Chica. Chica. Get that bird. Get that bird. Let's go! Beat it! Holy shit. Did not think you were gonna do it that soon. Every time I'm... you win an item, like, genuinely surprised by how good you are with it. I got the hang of it really fast. 
I know people in the chat were telling me that this was gonna be the night I was gonna get stuck on for a while because you have like no downtime. People were telling me I was gonna struggle a lot with this. I don't know, like, I, I, I hear a lot of people saying that this game's like insanely hard and don't get me wrong, it's challenging, but I feel like, uh, I feel like once you get the hang of things and you understand what all the hints are, it's not that bad. What the hell does the bottom say? Falling down. Oh. It's, I don't like that. I find it funny how earlier in this stream chat was saying that I had a skill issue. <laughs> Proved you wrong! Yeah. Watch, I'm gonna get to night six and I'm gonna get curb stomped for that comment. It's like me saying, maybe I'm just too good, and then Fred, Freddy just immediately fucking clobbers you. Yeah, I know. You said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely right, and then you just, I just got strangled. Alright, though. Let's let's go. What's in this? Your skill issue in night six. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see night six. I'm excited for night six. The pizza. Oh. <laughs> that, is, that has got to be the coolest reveal in any FNAF game, just period. Like, oh my god. Like, I feel like that's what they were trying to get at with the fucking burn trap reveal and security breach, but it just falls flat for so many different reasons. That got me excited. I love the slow swelling of the mangle static over the tape as it gets closer to them. Oh, man. Foxy never went downstairs. That's true, actually. Yeah, Foxy never, uh, Foxy never got possessed. So, night six, night six is gonna be the mangle boss fight. Yeah. I'm, I'm worried. I'm assuming this is gonna be, like, a completely new play style I'm gonna have to get used to. Well... <laughs> well, time to find out, I guess. I really thought we were gonna be like doing this into the night. I thought so too, but I got the hang of it pretty quickly. Watch, I'm gonna be at this for like four hours. Oh, okay, we're back. Door. That's new. Hmm. Ready to venture into the unknown? <laughs> yes, we're as ready as we'll ever be. Yeah! <laughs> this door will lead you straight to the center of the basement. Oh. That's where you'll find our ghost. Now I took a peek and scout out the basement while you were doing your investigation. Did you see anything? Well, from what I could make out, it seems the ghost has turned the basement into their own little game. Alright, then we need a plan. I say we go along with whatever game the ghost is trying to play with us, and trap her by surprise! Well, how are we gonna trap the ghost? Trapper here, along with other corrupt spirits. Yo, watch this be a twist ending where uh, Paul Bear is actually evil and the ghost we're trying to trap is actually just trying to defend himself. Right. Let them rot as I have for centuries. I don't, mm. Yeah, see? Alright, <laughs> and this is it. If this works out, Paul. I may never see you again. So I guess this is goodbye. Junior's ends tonight. Oh. Oh. Actually, it's like midday for me, so. 
It's like it's like eight o'clock for me, which is yeah. which is funny because that's normally when I start my streams. Right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Into the basement we go. As a. Oh, is that Withered Bonnie? Yo! That was just straight up the FNAF 2 trailer. It was! Wither- what? Huh? Oh! Wait a minute! It's- uh, it's like five- the regular Five Nights at Freddy's! More important. Also, oh my- with this knife. To use the flashlight in the no. office and use shift to use the flashlight no. on the cameras. No. No! How do I wind the music box? What do I do? I assume it just works like oh. normal FNAF 2. Oh my- it is like- it is just FNAF 2. What? No way! Oh, this is... Oh... Freddy... What the hell? Whoa! Oh! Oh! Mask! Mask! Uh, space! I'm dead! You're so dead, man. Oh, look! Look at look at look at look at the top. 11, 11 a.m. <laughs> Can't believe my main man toilet Bonnie's here. I'm so happy to see a friggin' faceless withered Bonnie appearance. That's so neat. Cause uh, yeah, to anyone who's. Uninformed, Withered Bonnie's like my favorite FNAF character. <laughs> seeing like FNAF the actual, seeing the we were literally just talking about how FNAF 2 is is so fucking cool looking and now we just have like a like a amped up version of it. Oh my god, this is amazing. There's something in my office! Oh my god, did you notice? Look who's- look whose mask I'm wearing! Yeah... I'm wearing Bonnie's face! Oh my- leave me alone! Oh my- the puppet got out. How- what was I supposed to do about that? They were all in my room at once! Oh wow, okay. Oh, it's it's the FNAF 2 death screen. That's so fucking cool. Oh yeah, don't forget to wind the music box. Yeah, I didn't forget. There was just everyone in my room at once. What was I supposed to do? <coughs> Holy shit. So I gotta figure out if there's even a use for the other cameras. I would pause it not if this is being faithful to FNAF 2. And it's sad because those cameras look cool as fuck. Yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe I can camera- again. Maybe I can camera stall them with lights? <coughs> the fucking glitching ghost faces on the monitors are creeping me out, man. Right? You hate to say it, but skill issue. You hate to say it, but skill issue? I see. Okay. Maybe I do have to just find them on the cameras and slow them down so they don't come into my office.
my god, the sound design here is immaculate. Right. Oh, I did not mean to. Okay, jeez. The more that you play this game, the m the more I am just fucking seething at Ramana for the fact that this was going to have a fucking fan verse initiative sequel, and now it's likely that we will never see an like another game in in this universe ever because i don't know if the other people working on this team would ever want to go back and like cultivate another story within this universe that's which which sucks because this is some of the best fnaf content i've seen yeah this is insanely good you would have to be nuts to sabotage your team when you have something this fucking fantastic I forgive Ramanov. Give me sequel. Don't. Don't forgive Ramanov. Don't forgive Ramanov. Don't He's forgive Ram. He did the bare minimum. <laughs> also, yeah, no, this game is. This, uh, the this... bare minimum. Oh! <laughs> yeah, no, uh, this, this night's insanely good. This night's, like, this really, so really cool. good. Okay, so. Uh, Foxy works like in FNAF 2. Just gotta flash the light at him. Um. Puppet works like they do. Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, uh, you have to put the mask on. Uh, okay, so, out of, out of all the characters, seems to work the exact same. Um, I haven't seen Balloon Boy yet, though. I, I'm assuming Balloon Boy is just going to show up in one of, like, the left or right doors. I'm assuming, at least. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. I've been hearing. Hello. Uh, thank you Hello. for the Hello. thank you for becoming a member, uh, Mr. Happy Duck. Yeah. Woo I just noticed that this night starts at friggin' like nine something. Yeah. Also, um, let's see. What did Ramanov even do? That is a can of worms we are not opening. Yeah, go go research it yourself. I don't want to go into it. Just search up fanverse and then like the pair and watch like some comprehensive video on it. As much as I fucking hate to say it, Theft King has pretty okay coverage of it. Mm -hmm. In any case, I... I went into this experience not wanting to talk about Ramanov much, but now that I realize that we have basically been robbed of a fanverse continuation of this game because of him, fuck dude. Yeah, no, don't forget Ramanov. Okay, so yeah, all the characters in this work just like their FNAF 2 counterparts. This is good news. trying to flick my mouse down as if this is uh, FNAF 2. <laughs> To be honest, the only thing that disappoints me is that they didn't innovate on FNAF 2's gameplay whatsoever, so even though the camera numbers are- Foxy makes no oh, sense. Uh, right. Even though the camera renders are fucking fantastic, like if you are playing the game as intended, you are never going to see any of the brilliant camera renders that were done for these characters. 
Assuming there isn't some mechanic I'm missing. Right. It, it, I'm, I'm like, look, I'm not going into what Ramanov did. Go look, go look into it yourself. Yeah. I know you have to flash him, not the vents. I'm checking for characters that appear in the vents. Yeah, just to clarify, as much as I'm talking about the fact that I'm disappointed this won't get a continuation, what we have here already is fucking astounding, and I'm willing to bet that it'll you know, be able to hold fans off for a very long time. I, I know that I'm definitely... Satis like, this game has satisfied every expectation I had for it, and then exceeded it, like, greatly. Oh, it has far exceeded it for me. Like, this shit is genuinely fantastic. The one thing I just don't understand is... Foxy. Like, I'm assuming maybe I just have to keep flashing him till he's gone and not do anything else. Maybe? But then that, I don't know, that would seem counterintuitive. People are now drawing the ragdoll foxy, and it's fantastic. What? What does beautiful? What does balloon boy do? Oh, he he is just he is just balloon boy from FNAF 2. My lights aren't working anymore. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him. I'm just gonna let him kill me. I I I can't. Yeah. Okay. That was a pretty cool jump scare, though. Yeah. Although the frame rate is a bit odd. Okay. Everything is like 60 FPS and then the, the jump scare was like 30 to 24. Yeah, that was kind of strange. Don't let them see you without the mask on. Okay, so did did Balloon Boy just appear in my left vent and I just didn't notice him? Maybe. He probably, he probably, uh, he was probably just right next to me and I was blind. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so now that I know that everyone works like in FNAF 2, yeah, it's, it's just the gameplay loop of FNAF 2. So now if you lose, it's skill issue. Yeah. I suppose I gotta take more time in the office just to, like, survey my surroundings, make sure that, uh... I actually know what I'm looking at before I put the camera up again. Yeah. I just have to, like, really soak in information. Mm -hmm. Like, give it a real cognitive swim. Okay, I think Foxy's appearing there. Part of me has to go to the bathroom, but the other part of me is, like, scared that you're actually gonna clutch and beat this shit before I get back. Oh, okay, Foxy does work like that, okay. Wait, so you have to shine until he goes? Yeah, you have to keep flashing it until he's gone. Okay, that makes sense. I can fuck with that. It's just not communicated very well when in FNAF 2 all you have to do is kinda like... ...lightly nudge him with the light a couple times and he'll just be like, Okay! Yeah, Alright, fuck off. Yeah, like... The characters work in general like they do in, uh... FNAF 2. But like, there's some little... ...key differences. God, I hope that OST for this game is out. Also, I'm here, I'm gonna... Alright. If you, if you peep the night, tell me what happens. Will do. Yeah, the music here is amazing. Oh, shoot! I'm 
I'm assuming this is till 6 a.m. I do like it if you guys are if you guys are noticing like I find that there's a a nicer window for when they come in to put the mask on. Like it's not as much as if you don't have it on immediately you're dead. Oh my god. Come on, Foxy, go away. There we go. Okay. So far, so good. I think this is the farthest I ever made it. Alright, alright, alright. No balloon boy. Probably Foxy. No, that's just him leaving. Well, he's gonna be here any second. Come on, Fox. What? What? Huh? Huh? What? What's going on? What? Guys? Guys? You know you can't be here. Don't make this more difficult than- Oh! Oh, they're all being loaded on a conveyor belt! They're all being turned into the mangle! No! What? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! No! No, no, no! Come on! Come on! Please! Oh, dear God. What's gonna happen? Mangle will make her way through either vent or hallway in front of you. The ghost will try to break through the camera. Just hold the light on her. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Where? 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 Oh my god! What the hell's going on? Okay. Okay. I see. I understand. Lyra is silent because Lyra is not here. <laughs> All right. So from what I gather, from what I gather, so the ghost and mangle are two separate things. Mangle tries to get into your office. The ghost is on the cameras trying to come through the cameras. I have to find the ghost and shine the light on them. And I have to find the Mangle and shine the light on them when they're in- They really want this isn't even our final form. Actually, yeah! Yeah, so... If you see the owl, use the mask. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So there's 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 multiple animatronics still. The, the the mangle's active, but there's other animatronics. Oh 
Also, yeah, thank you for the super chat. Okay. You're gonna be upset, but you have to replay the whole night. Eh, I expected that. Okay, okay. The owl's part of Mangle, okay. Okay, there's Withered Bonnie. Was I? Okay, I was just seeing things. I thought that was Foxy for a minute. Sorry, but. Alright, thank you, uh, thank you, Silent Gamer. Glad you were able to be here. Freddy's about to come in. Cool. No, it really, it really hasn't been too hard. Oh my, <laughs> right away. Okay. Fortunately, the uh, music box winds up really fast. Man, this game feels a, like FNAF 2 mechanics feel so much better when there's a keybind tied to everything. I don't know why more FNAF fan games don't normalize just having nice keybinds for everything. night a lot. I'll have to, I'll have to wait, uh, you know, until I get further into the mangle night than just the start and the panic, uh, goes away, but this is, this is really cool. Oh my god, Foxy, please. Thank you. Jeez. Oh my god. They don't give you time for anything. Oh my god. I can do it. Okay, so they do give you quite a while to... Oh, the jump scare glitched out. That's weird. Oh. Uh huh. I think this was one of those glitches they were talking about patching. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> So I don't know about you guys, but I don't think this is an intended feature. What the hell did I come back to? Oh, so uh, I got jump scared by Bonnie. Wait, the night's continuing. I got jump scared by Bonnie, and Bonnie disappeared, and then this started going. Oh, oh, but the puppet did it for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got to see what happens when you get really far into the night. Don't forget to wind the music box. Yeah, that was definitely what killed me. Uh, yeah, so I got to see what happens when you get to, uh, 2 a.m. <laughs> what happens? Um, your screen pops up, and you are forced to sit there and watch the animatronics all get loaded onto a conveyor belt. And there's a sticky note covering what's happening to them on that conveyor belt. And then suddenly the mangle is made once all of them reach that final destination, and it becomes a mangle boss fight. Ooh. And then Mangle kicked my ass. Um, That's okay. really fucking cool. And by the way, the Mangle boss fight, you have to find the ghosts on the cameras and shine the light at them to stop them from coming through the screen and killing you. Oh my god. So the cameras actually wait, do have oh, a wait. use. 
Oh my god. They actually did innovate, it's just the beginning plays out like FNAF 2. Okay. Junior's devs thinking real here. Junior's devs with that fake out. Like, every time I complain about something, they just kinda retroactively fix it a couple minutes later. Yeah, right? Okay, Fr Bonnie just transformed into Freddy. I think something's really nice about the puppets music box in this is that it winds up really, really fast. Yeah. Also, apparently every four times that uh, BB vocalizes there in the left end. Oh, okay, that's actually really good to know. Okay, so it seems like every single threat has a massive window of opportunity to deal with them, uh, so you can deal with everything at once. It's like Foxy was taking a while while Chica was here. Oh. oh man, I only got just now a view of what Chica's face looks like, that's wicked. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. These versions of the withered animatronics make more sense because instead of just like rotting for a while, they've been torn up by something, which is what they look more like anyway. Yeah, exactly. They look really, really good. Please don't be foxy, thank you. Everything in this game is so fucking good. God, the, the way that they made withered Bonnie better? I like, love I didn't so think that design could get any better. I didn't think that could design could get any better either. He's like peak of like Scott's models to me. And then when you see him in Juniors, it's like, like oh my god. He looks amazing in Juniors. Yeah, the music here is amazing too. Right? Some climactic shit right here. Oh. Wait a fucking minute. Hmm. Dun 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 No! No! Oh, here we go! Here we go! Did you just notice that too? Yes! It's literally this the- This game is literally- Oh my god. Yeah, look, they're all being loaded onto the conveyor belt. Oh. This is fucking insane. I never thought like I'd hear like a like a a more cinematic sort of version of the fucking FNAF 2 trailer music. I've never heard the FNAF 2 trailer music get used in anything but the FNAF 2 trailer. Right. Okay, so, if I see her in the- in the vents, or the hallway, I have to flash the light at her. Mango will make her way through either vent and the hallway in front of you. The ghost will try to break through the cameras, hold the light on her. Oh, I have to put the mask on when I see, uh... Hey, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Uh, 
Um, Mangles in here. The Chica clock's freaking out. Oh my god. Uh, is this is this Mangle? Am I doing the right thing? No, no, no. Wait, take it off. What? No, your office is just fucked. Like, flash mangle? Shine your light. I can't shine my light. The game won't let me. I don't, like, I, what the hell does it, what does it want from me? This, do, this does not make sense to me. I think... Remember, remember I, what about the owl? Oh. Watch out for Mangle's owl tail in the vents. That's weird. Yeah, I know the ghost got me, guys. But what the hell does it mean when the owl's in my room? I know, I know about the ghost. I'm not asking how I died. It just, there's a sound cue when the owls come out. That ghost broke through the light? <coughs> okay, so the instruction tip said Mangle will make their way to your office and the ghost will be on the cameras. You gotta shine the light. Nowhere did it say anything the stuff you guys are saying. It didn't say anything that you guys are telling me right now. If the owl's in the room, put on the mask. I did, and I died. I did put on the mask. I had the mask on for an insanely long time and nothing happened. Like, guys. I, I, I was at more than half battery. I didn't lose my, dra like I didn't drain my battery. Like the thing was in my office, I put on the mask. But apparently I died because I didn't put on the mask. And the thing came through my camera, but I literally couldn't check my camera because the thing was in my office. Like, I literally had the mask on forever. <laughs> and then you- I pulled up the mask I pulled up the camera when the eyeballs appeared because I literally had the mask on forever and it felt like I was doing something wrong. Put down the mask multiple. Why would it be so long though? Maybe it was the. Cause like there was nothing. Try using the light on the owl. So like, do I have to find the mangle on the cameras? Because it said that I need to check the hallway, the two vents to find the mangle, and the camera to find the ghost. You didn't, you didn't find her and you got BB'd, but I did find her right before the mangle came into my room. Shine the light on the owl before the owl gets in. Mangle comes from the door and the ghost is a bit too aggressive when it comes to breaking cameras. Don't worry about the clocks, only put on the mask when you hear the specific sound for the owl. I am getting, like, three or four different types of instructions that are all contradicting each other. No, you dummies. The owl is Mangle's tail. It says it right there. Okay, but what do you do? What, what does that tell us? Doesn't matter where it came from. It doesn't matter if it's Mangle's tail. What does, like, what's the mechanic? I'll figure it out, I guess. There's one balloon boy. Every fourth time balloon boy is in the vents.
sorry I'm not saying anything. This is like, ugh. I'm just trying to, pro I'm trying to process what's going on myself while beating like the regular version of the night. Because I feel like I have a complete lack of understanding as to what the hell the game wants from me. God, I keep, I keep like listening to this now. It's like, yeah, this is literally just the FNAF 2 trailer music. Right? That's so cool. Forget to wind the music box. <laughs> All right. Somebody needs to fucking take that and replace every time you do it with the fucking vine boom. <laughs> I love that. It's just whenever I press spacebar for some reason, it just resets the death screen. really strong Night 6 vibes from Treasure Island when you have to fight Hourglass. Right. Oh, my dogs are going nuts. <laughs> Apologies to anyone in chat who hears my feral dogs losing their mind. They must have noticed something. If I ever bring back Phone Guy in Analog, which I likely will, the one line that I need to have him say, it's a necessity. He needs to fucking say, Hello? Hello, hello? Uh, what on earth are you doing here? <laughs> Didn't you get the memo? The place is closed, at least for a while. <laughs> The whole, like, what on earth are you He's doing so here is the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, Freddy doesn't actually have, like, human teeth. He just has really realistic looking teeth. <laughs> Flesh so trap chaser. Yeah, I got, I got quite a bit of time to put that mask on when they show up. Mm. 
Who's scary? The mango from this game or Hourglass? Uh, well, I haven't really had the time to process the mangle yet. I will say, though, um, like, atmosphere-wise, um, this may sound weird, but I find this knight more badass than scary. Oh, definitely. This, this feels like some cinematic shit. Yeah, like... I think it's because of the FNAF 2 trailer music in the background. Yeah, like, it's the intense music and all, like, the friggin' electronic sounds and the friggin' build-up towards the fight. Like, I don't feel like- I don't feel like it's, like, this terrifying, like, um, horror, like, moment. Although it is pretty tense and there's a lot of, like, really yeah. creepy visuals. Um, I feel like I'm summoning my stand and, like, waltzing up to the mango. Like, we're about to have a fucking JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fight. Yeah, right? Deal. <laughs> Deal! <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Thank you, Foxy, for going away to time for dinner. Makete kuru no ka. I had half a heart attack. You're saying that's not scary. It's not. That, it's not that it's not scary. Like the, the. It's like it's got a lot of really good tension. The visuals are amazing, and the jump scares are super like uh, well done. But like you know, I view this night as more of just like this badass, like tense encounter that's just really fun to play. <laughs> Giant enemy spider. Okay, there we go. God, that freaking guitar is going nuts. <laughs> Flash goes on camps. Mask for owl. Flash mangle. Okay, mask for owls. Flash mangle. Flash ghost. Flash mangle. Mask owls. Flash ghost. So, owls, mask, everything else, flashlight. With our powers combined, we form the mangle. The power of runs and confuser of pastries. The power of friendship turned them into an abomination. Okay, so, find the ghost. This shit's so badass, I'm gonna start speaking in Japanese. Oh my god, mangle's huge! Oh! How do I? Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh. Nani kore? mask on. Those aren't the owls. So the giant birds in the room weren't the giant birds I was looking for? Sadly, no. The owl looks different. Yeah, that's... That's the owl. <laughs> it's like brown. It has Let's like the yellow eyes. Breath. It's weird. Okay... So, Mangle was in the hallway. I flashed her like I was supposed to. I flashed the ghost. Birds got in the room and I died. You didn't mm. check the vents. You have to check the vents for the owl. I did! Holy like, hell, dude. Like, I checked the vent and they were just in the room. Yeah, I know they appear in the vents. Imposter venting. Damn. 
I'm aware that those clocks aren't the owl. Well, now. Yeah. Damn, dude. Shit, feeling kind of sussy, Walt. Let's see. Is it really going to be an hour of pasture being confused? Well, yeah, it's confusing. Yeah. All of chat is not helping because all the advice I'm getting is contradicting itself. Clocks and eyes are just distractions. Like, I have literally gotten advice from all of the chat, and all of the advice I'm getting is contradicting itself. I forgot that I have fucking $50 on Steam. What? What, a, what will I buy? buy on Steam with 50 bucks? Jeez. Then don't listen to chat! I guess not. Actually, no, 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 Maybe you could check the vent camera for the owl. But what the hell's the point of the birds then? Lara, how does Shadow pronounce a gif? Uh, the correct way. Gif. Thank you. The hell is wrong with you guys? <laughs> was, that an, was that a reference to that one edit of Shadow and Sonic arguing over the word? I did not know that exists. Yeah, there's there's an edit of like the ending cutscene between Shadow and Sonic in Sonic Adventure 2 before his boss fight, and the two of them are just arguing over how you say the word. Can Shadow say it's been I, uh, 20 oh, years? So he said, you got, you got can Shadow say it's you. been 20 years, God. I really, really hate you. There you go. Oh my god. The right, I can buy Pop Goes Arcade ten times. Yo! I have 20 alternative accounts! <laughs> I looked at the faces on the monitors and it just started that video where it's like, you are, you are storing illegal drugs in your house, aren't you? No, I'm not. Hello there, hello. Woo <laughs> Just like I just fucking like zooms the phone into the woman's face. Oh my god, yeah, it's just like he just goes woo and then she's just hello there. Hello there. Hello. Woo woo. I need to turn my TV down. Nobody needs to know I'm playing Origins. Playing Origins in the middle of me, just like fighting for my life. <laughs> you can run, you can fly, you can reach the other side of the rainbow. Okay, you know what this first bit of the night with like the actual uh, like FNAF 2-esque gameplay is insanely easy once you uh, realize the time frame that the animatronics give you to do stuff. Yeah, which is weird because literally like right after that we get the most confusing hard shit. Yeah, you get like the most confusing like thing to understand ever right after the section that is like so easy to understand. All right, all right, mangle section again. I kind of wish it restarted you at this point every time you died, like if you got here. Yeah, it would be nice if there was actually a checkpoint uh, before this. People are saying, people would say skill issue, but no, having checkpoints is nice. I mean, if you were able to do it the first time, right? All right, let's try and figure this out. So maybe I'll check the vent cameras. If 
Astro doesn't beat this tonight, he has to play Sonic 1, the worst Sonic game. Uh-oh. No, no, there's, no. there's my incentive! I... I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Alright, so... Like... I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't have Romanov play Sonic 1. Okay, cool! Did you just immediately die? Yep, I instantly died. How? I can tell that's more out of frustration than anything now. No, oh, here we go. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just over here breezily playing through Ice Cap Zone. Alright. <laughs> so... We, we need to call... A junior's dev in here and have them explain what the fuck this is. Don't let them see you without the mask on. Okay, so. Let's do this again. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Woo woo. That's all I can think of now when I'm hearing Balloon Boy. <laughs> Balloon Baby is senile. Okay. What's your opinion on the Mandela Catalog? Oh, Mandela Catalog is my favorite web series of all time. It was a huge inspiration for a lot of the stuff I plan on working on in the future. It do be rocking. Mama Quero. make a video on Mandela Catalog someday. In fact, I already have like a script and everything caught up for that, if I ever did. I even have like a title for a video. I just got so many other things I'm working on right now that's probably gonna not be for a while. <laughs> oh, hey, Balloon Boy. Nice. One of your mods just said to me, hey, is there any way that Astra can make the fucking cursor go away? Nope, I literally can't. <laughs> They can deal with it. Probably <laughs> only one of your Discord mods too. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate for them because I literally can't get rid of it. So. <laughs> also, nice to meet you too. Oh. Yeah, I know it is unfortunately stuck there. Real. Yeah, I don't know what makes the cursor be there. It's just like some kind of weird visual glitch. Uh, so Real Arthur DR just told me some very shocking stuff about some of the parts of this night, and I am not gonna reveal it because it is stuff that you will see in the extras menu. Oh. And I want you to experience that first time. Okay. I forgot about the concept of an extras menu until now. It's cool to hear that this game has an extras menu. Yeah. Okay, Chica's coming. The Lyra Morber. Morbius. That meme hasn't died out yet, right? Living in 1991. I love Morbius. I love Morbing. I'm Morbing all over the place. 
like how they stream another model of Lyra. God. If only, if only I had a 3D model of her. working on them, but I wasn't satisfied with how it was looking. Oh, cool. Okay, the little boy again. So he doesn't Why? appear in the left or right vent, he, like, is it only the cameras he appears on? This dude literally looks like Dear David. He does look like Dear David, doesn't he? I'm glad you got the reference. I was scared for a second, I was like, wait. No, am I-, I Am I screaming to the void? No, I was up to date on that. Yeah, that dude literally looks like Dear David. It's funny. <laughs> you know, the game is FNAF 2 when there's more animatronics clambering to jump scare you at the same time. Yeah, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to- I'm just gonna be back in a second. I just gotta run to the washroom real quick. Okay. <laughs> I just called it the washroom. Canadian. Yeah, it's just the two of us. It's just me and the the YouTube chat. Aww. Oh, uh, Boopus, how's everyone jamming? Um, I'm jamming good. I am doing so. I'm, I'm pulling up my, my Unreal Engine courses on Udemy. Kaya Mary says, Lyra, we love your sass. I didn't see the first S at first, so I was taken aback. Very, very muchly. But then when I reread it, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> also, uh, somebody said my hair is blue. Actually, canonically, Ramona's hair is gray, but it's commonly stylized to be like lightly blue because of the way that lighting is. Thank you for informing me about the pastrelings. Can't get over the fact that I misread it as Hello Libra, we love your ass. Alright, I'm back. Hey, uh, there, <laughs> there's a comment in the fucking stream chat that just says, uh, like, like something along the lines of, if I can find, Lyra, we love your sass, but I didn't read the first S at first, and I just fucking, like, I had to double take. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I don't think the chat's at that level of bad yet. <laughs> chat's been surprisingly tame, aside from the Paul Bear pasture ship. Yeah, they, their attention has been directed away from me. <laughs> Alright, though. So I gotta collect myself about what I know so far. Oh, Super Chat, hello. The ghost also, cursor has haunted the stream since yeah, its start. Like it oh, is yeah, the true cool. villain of Juniors. Mangle is the ghost cursor, confirm. <laughs> Mangle is the ghost cursor. True. Okay, so. Um, so. Up until 2 a.m., this night is insanely easy. I have died a couple times to Balloon Boy. I think it's because Balloon Boy just appears in the vent camera. Um, and I just haven't seen him. To which I wonder what the point of the vent lights are, if that's the case. But, um... Wait, did somebody just say the, sh the cursor shrunk? Oh, wait no. a minute, wait a minute. Are we banishing it? Wait. Be it's, gone. It's foul gone. Spirit. Wait. I got rid of it. I got rid of it. No way. It's. I. I figured out how to. G so you want to know no. how you want to know how you get rid of the cursor that was on the screen? I had to open up my Vito Tube PNG like model that I used for, uh, Clyde. 
I pulled it up and closed it twice, and that's how the cursor disappeared. <laughs> Try and also, wrap your I'm head around doing, that. I'm just seeing a bunch of message deleted, which makes me think that the moment we started talking about how tame chat was, they just started acting extremely <laughs> bad. I'm sorry, mods. New ship. Paul Baron sorry, half cursor. Also, to pet liver, uh, wait, so is your character a persona or an OC that you use as a stand-in, like Pastra and Clyde? Um, <laughs> you know, I've never had a concrete answer for that, but Don't it's probably closer how to, down to, bad to we Pastra can and Clyde's track, thing where please. Ramona is an OC with her own, like, story and stuff, but I tend to just use her as a sort of stand-in for, for a persona because, I don't know, I like her, she's cool, funny. Yeah, so, yeah, up until 2 a.m., the night is honestly insanely easy because it just feels like FNAF 2, but um, with easier controls and with more windows of opportunity to do stuff. Mangle makes no sense, though. Yeah. Like, Mangle so far makes absolutely no sense. And I feel Hopefully like once I actually figure it out, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Come in live at W. <laughs> I don't like this. Can we get your pronouns, please? Whose pronouns? Pastra, what are your pronouns? I got them he they pronouns. Oh, I didn't actually know it was he they. I yeah. thought it was just straight up you him. Hell yeah. He there for the win. I rock them. You're going to be the fucking conveyor pipeline. First it's he, him, then it's gonna be he, they, then it's gonna be they, them, then it's gonna be. Oh, he, they. I'm in the, like, the he, I'm at the beginning of the freaking conveyor belt. I'm not actually trapped, don't read into that. If you're alive, excuse this quick question. Are you working on animatronic Clyde? I don't think anybody is. I've seen art of animatronic Clyde, but I don't think I don't think Pastor has ever personally drawn it. I've never drawn animatronic Clyde, but I did say during the Pop Goes streams that I was tempted to draw an animatronic Clyde for FNAF videos. Ooh, Boopus Noopus also being a he they. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and then I forgot. Um, I'm I'm she they. Completely done the question and forgot to say my own pronouns. <laughs> Cory Pite misses the cursor. You guys want the cursor gone, but the moment it is gone, you'll want it back. Make up your minds. Blue Heron pronouns. Blue, Blue Heron produce. <laughs> My pronouns Someone are said hard, 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 now hard, 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 hard. Don't be on the floor. Use the Commodore. No, 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 Staring at the screen like Coraline's dad in that that one scene. <laughs> That's how I am every single time I die to mangle without gaining any knowledge. When the junior don't make sense. <laughs> what are Lankman's pronouns? Look in front of your mod just sent me the pipeline. Thank you, but it's with Garfield. And there's like a big titty goth Garfield at the end of it. Oh god. Would you kill me if I said it was well drawn? No. It's not horrible. It's like. <laughs> Oftentimes the worst ideas it's are It's not even best. that bad. No. Sake. Oh, I actually, I actually managed to skip out uh, on my death because I got I transitioned into Mangle. 
My pronouns are your slash mother. <laughs> Lankman's pronouns are lank slash man. Any neo pronoun users in the chat? Yeah, I am curious. If you use neo pronouns, uh, shout out to you in the chat. Awesome. I do not use neo pronouns, but they're poggers. As much as I love this cutscene when you're like dying over and over again, it's it's very very long. It is really annoying once you've died a couple times. Do it. Yeah. Oh, are those just a visual distraction? I think so. Oh, damn. I actually saw the Owlhead that time. God damn it. I find it funny that the second I died, I saw someone in chat say, he's gonna do it, he's gonna win. <laughs> Don't fucking jinx it, you assholes. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, so I think I get it now. Um, so, yeah, the, the clock's... They they don't mean jack shit. They're just yeah. they are just there to be there. Um, oh my fucking god! <laughs> Look at fucking Discord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh well, I just accidentally opened up my other OBS. Uh oh, what was that? It's the first thing I see when I open up Discord. Sorry. What's the first thing you saw when you? Oh my god, my Discord's loaded with notifications too i guess that makes sense but okay so you know that that actually um i'm not frustrated by that attempt um because i actually knew what was going on there um so Alex. yeah because the owl pops out of the vent and you have to put the mask on in time um when Mangle appears, you gotta shine the lights at them, and you gotta find Ghost Girl on the cameras and shine the light on her. Um, I just realized I sent it to your mod instead of you, sorry. Anyway, go on. Yeah, the eyes the eyes and the clocks don't mean jack shit. They are just there as a visual disturbance. God. Also, yeah, you have, you have the meme that made me fucking piss myself now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's just okay for those who for those who don't see it. Um, it's just freaking Dio and Jotaro just standing off with each other, and it's just Mangle and then me and Lyra. <laughs> also, um, 
and I'll and I'll send this to you real quick as well, so you can uh, see it, uh, Zach. Mm-hmm. But, um, Angel, aka Oni Mooney, because I know you're still in chat, probably watching the stream. Holy fuck, your art is good. Like, j- I just checked my Twitter, saw this, and I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. Yo, <laughs> I love this. Let me let me get a link to this as well. In the... yeah, post that shit up in chat. That's awesome, dude. What? Go check that out, that's insane. Right, I'm trying to look at chat to see if there's any other cool art. Ooh, um, we got, we got some good, uh, got some good polygon Paul Bear art. Epic. There's some art of us suffering with Mangle. There's, um, Artly Ashes, uh, drawing the dreaded half mouse. And I like their shading style because it reminds me of the Gen 1 Pokemon art. Mm. Cool. All right, we're gonna try this again. I, I I know what's going on now with Mangle. Okay, let's see if we can watch this. I wish at least the cutscene wouldn't play again whenever you um whenever you already beat it once. <laughs> there should be a skip button. Oh my god, we see Oni Rooney in chat, just saying, oh my god, thank you. Yeah, of thanks. course, you're welcome, your art is fucking godly, dude. Yeah, oh, thank man. you for making it. I also really like the way that you draw the Junior's animatronics, like... It's so hard. Guess he gives you time to mentally prepare. I guess. Yeah. But you know, time to rest your fucking fingers. Oh. Nice. Is there anything honkable? <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. He's not honkable. I really oh, hi, wish Freddy that Fazbear. was. A, I wish that the big Freddy was. <laughs> Just made like a deeper honk. Yeah, that would be amazing. Just honk. You'd be like, <laughs> and then you go to the big one. It's just. <laughs> that Freddy mall looks insane up close. Yeah. Oh my god, people fucking think Lyra Horror's ex goth Garfield ship art when? Joke's on you guys. I wouldn't even be frustrated if somebody tried. <laughs> That would be, that would be awful, if there's like pastors over here getting shipped with fucking Paul Bear. I'm lucky that I get Goth Garfield. At least she's cool. <laughs> I mean, I like Paul Bear. Okay, so every four. But he's a little too square for me. Dun, 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 dun. Man does look like an N64 character. <laughs> he looks so high. I would smoke with Paul Bear. Like I would, I would, I would definitely get absolutely zooted with Paul Bear. He seems like a cool stoner, bro. But like, <laughs> I would not kiss the man on the mouth. Also, somebody asked what Balloon Boy's deal is. Basically, he just moves around like in FNAF 2. Every fourth time you hear him, his voice line, um, he's at your vent, and if you don't put on the mask, he comes in and disables your flashlight, just like in FNAF 2. What? Oh wait, fuck. I thought somebody was saying something about the game and they were like, imagine if, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> we need some art of Lyra and Paul Bear smoking for once. God damn it! Fucking Veil just DMing me, Goth Garfield sitting at the table and all of Greg just saying, uh, all that garden is so good. I wish it only was real. <laughs> Me too. Optimal blood rotation. Pastra, Lyra, and Paul Bear. 
<laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna screenshot this. I've never seen a funnier phrase in my life than optimal blunt rotation. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you took on my funny bone. Optimal blunt rotation pastry. Really got me right in the. <laughs> I was about to say right in the knockers with that one. <laughs> Damn. It doesn't even make sense. Laughter is storing the boobs. Damn. Never knew. I'm hearing the most cursed sentences while I'm trying to fight for my life here. Discord server is closed temporarily, isn't it? Uh, no, I just. Oh, Fox is in the hallway. No, I just you... was. I uh, I wanted to wait till the end of the stream to tell people where it was because I didn't want it to be flooded while my mods were occupied with the stream. Got it. Okay. Because somebody was like, I want to get into the Discord because I have fan art, but I can't find it. Okay. I'll tell oh, people yeah, how to wait. get into it at the end of the stream so my mods don't have a yeah. nightmare. Yeah, just. Be a bit patient, sit down, relax, enjoy the show, we'll tell you soon. Lyra, what's your favorite animatronic design jo Oh fuck, that's hard! This- all of this game's designs rock, dude. I don't even know if I can pick a favorite. Were they asking specifically for juniors? Yeah. Do you have one? I- I- I know Withered Bonnie is probably, like, Scratching little itch in your head. Yeah, Withered Bonnie in this night is my favorite looking one. They just took my favorite regular FNAF design and friggin' upped the realism. I think I think it's up in like my top three as well. Like it's it's Withered Bonnie, the puppet, and I'm trying to think. Well, I do love Mangle. Mangle looks amazing in this. Right. What if John Paradise is the final boss? He throws money at you and you have a mental breakdown. That would be accurate. Oh, right, because Balloon Boy- Really? If Balloon Boy disables your flashlight before the transition, you just don't have it? No. How the hell is- That actually pisses me off. What's the we point? Have... We have to fucking contact the devs about this. Jesus. What's the that, that point of getting awful. to this? You just die. That's awful. At least he gets to see Mango. Like, there's- I literally just have to- It's just sitting there and waiting to die. That's like, fucked, dude. I feel like, um... I feel like that's not intentional. I feel like that's legitimately an oversight that we have to contact the devs about. Do you want me to, like- Shoot a message. It probably is by design since flashlight batteries carry over from the beginning of the night as well. Like, no, yeah, but it's even... not that the battery ran out, it's that Balloon Boy, like, well, well, appeared I'm... right before the cutscene began. Well, I think it's because Balloon Boy counts as your battery hitting zero if he takes them. But, like. I still think that it's, it's incredibly. I don't know. It, it seems like something that should be a glitch because of how scuffed it is well yeah like that's like that's that's not even just like a fun consequence to losing that just feels like crap i mean if you lose your flashlight you kind of deserve like that well by that logic well by that logic if the puppet gets out of his box i should die when the mangle cutscene happens but you don't 
Or if somebody's in my office and I'm about to die, or if Foxy's in the hallway and I'm about to die, the cutscene cuts them off. Specifically, Balloon yeah. Boy uh, does that. And like, I don't even, I don't even care if you deserve it. That just feels terrible. Like, that's just not fun. I don't care if it's like a, an actual consequence for failing. That's not a good consequence for failing, because you just have to sit there for the next, like, minute or so, waiting to die, with nothing you can do, no way to restart, and no way to kill yourself faster. You just sit there, doing nothing. I will say, while this entire game is great, this is the one part of the game that I have, like, legitimate, like, deep-seated problems with that I think need to be, like, actually ironed out. Yeah, because, like, I don't care, like... I don't care about, you know, if, you know, I die before the cutscene happens. Hell, I don't even care that much if I don't, like, if, you know, the cutscene's unskippable. Because the cutscene's cool. It's a nice little grace period before, you know, a really intense part yeah, happens. But, like, that's, like, Balloon Boy taking your stuff and just, like, transitioning into the next part of the night. And then just being forced to sit there and do nothing. That's not, like, that's... Like, that's just blatantly annoying and unfair, like... <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay. So, I know that if I see Balloon Boy at any point in my office, I'm just screwed. I literally can't do anything about it. Balloon Boy is just instant death, no matter what. This night, this night itself just seems kind of buggy in itself, too, because, like, there was that Bonnie death I had where, uh, you know, the game just kept going and Bonnie just disappeared. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet that this part of the game is the part that had the least, um, amount of, like, <laughs> um, if I can like, say, a, like a, like a patch spoilers, period, almost. Because like all the rest of the game out, seems way more, like, tight toilet, than this. Not to be rude against the team. Hey, thank you for the super chat, but, like, I, I, I kind of see what you mean, because, like, it is, it is sort of, like, it has, it kind of funny, it has the same, uh, problems I do with, um, the Treasure Island final boss, where, like, you kind of just don't really get enough explained about what to do, and it's very vague, but on top of it, there's mechanics that just feel bad to deal with. There's mechanics in there that feel really good, but there's a lot ju that just feels bad. Like, you know, I'm all for there being consequences when you fail to do what the game does, right? But usually those consequences are death, and you like, can just try again. It's like getting in your face and kicking your nads, dude. Yeah, like, you know, if I fail and I die, then that's fair enough, right? I made a mistake, um, I get to try again. But when Balloon Boy takes your stuff and you're transitioning into the Mangle uh, boss fight, you're forced to sit through the cutscene, knowing you're gonna die anyway, and then you're forced to sit there and wait for Mangle to get to you, knowing you're gonna die anyway. Yeah, it seems like there's being a patch being made. I yeah, cause like- probably, like, shoot a- either shoot a PM to Derek, or like, comment on the patch notes post, because... Whether intentional or not, that just seems Oops. like bullshit. Yeah, whether or not that's intentional. If it's if it's a bug, yeah, that makes sense. If it's intentional, it's just a poorly designed feature of the game. Yeah, cause like I'm 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 gonna say here, chat. I am very passionate about game development, and I'm also very honest. And I will say that despite the fact that it may seem callous or mean at points, the best thing you can do for a game dev is like critique their game on release and tell them all the shit that went wrong with it because that is the best form of help you can possibly give somebody upon the release of a game really so i would i would happily say this to derek's face i would happily say it to ramanov's face even though i would probably have other choice words uh and i would say it to all the other people who uh worked on the actual developmental side of the game because I don't view it as a mean or callous thing, and I don't say it out of malicious intent. It's literally just the fact that I think uh, this part of the game could be very well tightened up. I see potential in it. It's fucking awesome. It's really cinematic. But it becomes frustrating when so so many parts of it are just either really not well explained or just straight up bullshit. 
Will I be able to transition into the mangle part before the puppet kills me is the question. Nope. Damn it. The message here is that constructive criticism is a good thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. I personally believe that like your critics are your biggest fans. Okay, yeah, uh, the rogue that goes stab. Remember, healthy critique and criticism does not equal harassment. Thank you. And, like, that goes for what I have said, and then also just in, in terms of, um, in terms of actually, like, contacting devs, there is a very well-defined difference between harassing a dev over their game and simply providing a piece of constructive criticism about the game. The actual gameplay. Yeah, I was gonna say like uh, I think I think one of the people in chat said it best. Like this fight is really amazing and cinematic until you're fighting it for the twenty fifth time. Right. I I personally think um, I wouldn't have a single problem with this night if there was more clear instructions at the start, and a checkpoint. Right. If those two things existed, not a single complaint from me other than, like, you know, things I view as a bug, or, like, you know, just kind of being bad, like the balloon boy thing. But, like, if you just had a checkpoint, and, or maybe even just an ability to skip the cutscene, and some more clear instructions, there wouldn't be a single problem on my part. Because, like, you know, other than that, this night is amazing. Right. And it's I feel like the uh, the combination of the ill-explained mechanics and some really bullshit bugs actually detracts from the amazing experience that is like this night. And so I I feel like it is imperative that they they kind of patch some of the shit here at ASAP because like over over time we we just experiencing oh some of the shit here it's uh it's really detracted from the the feeling of sheer wonderment and uh, awe that i had God's when we sake. first got in here i could have probably won the music box in between those guys appearing in my office but i just didn't Bri, I beat this on the fourth try. Why is it taking you two hours? I don't know! Why don't you explain that to me? Why? Why do you think? Why do you think? Yeah, give us the fucking gameplay loop. Give like, us. please, do tell yeah. me! How'd you beat this on the fourth try? Uh, explain to me the gameplay loop! That's Zaza on God. God damn it, Knife Emoji, I love you. Every time you make a new piece, it's fucking fire. What are you... I need a sip of water. It's a pizza's a waiter. Okay, there's a grace period whenever someone enters the office. It's around five seconds at best. Okay. That'll be good to remember. I think, um... I think the music box... <laughs> yeah. What are Music box gets so low, Pastor has to wind so it. I didn't notice. Your least favorite? <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like vacantly glad that this stream didn't happen later, purely because of the fact that uh, <laughs> if the stream were later, I would have been tempted to take up the idea of um, setting a, a donation goal for me, <laughs> taking an edible midstream. <laughs> I remember you talking about that early, like, the other day it on the been Discord. really fucking funny. But also, I would prefer not to, like, get super suited while my parents are awake, just because... It's not that I do it in secret, it's just that I feel like it's kind of disrespectful to be... Like... That... Zoned out when other people in the house are still, like... You know... They're active. They're, they're trying to engage with you. Right, yeah. In any case... Oh my god, somebody fell asleep when we started this and woke up and we're on the same night. 
Yeah, this night I feel like has taken up almost as much time as the actual base game. Because I got through night four and five really fast. Give me your weed drink. It's not a drink. I have like a... Y'all know those like a sour kind of like gummy ropes to where they're, they're like rainbow colored and they have like the kind of those sour patch kids like sour sprinkly, sprinklies on them. Like the ones you get at like fun fairs and stuff like that. They're like candy ropes. And they're, they're like flat. Yeah, sour rainbows, that's it. I have those, but like weed. <laughs> Gaken. Yeah, uh. <laughs> Somebody in chat just being like, Epidoles, Tilda. Somebody said they do make drinkable weed drinks now. Yes, this is true. I have, um, I've partaken in one. It's pretty poggers. <laughs> Boop is saying the benefits of long streams is that I get way more time to draw. True. I should be drawing right now, but I'm in. I'm, in between, like, watching Zack play and, and thinking about Unreal Engine. Well, Hyra, what's your opinion on the brownie that bakes you? Uh, out of all the things I have tried, I've never had a brownie before. This is a sad day. <laughs> Oni, I really, I really don't want to miss anything, so I'm taking you guys with me to the restroom. Have a nice piss! Maracuero! <laughs> Taking that, what I missed. Not much. Okay. I'm just yeah. dealing with this game's bullshit. <laughs> After hours, I've reconstructed Ramona's whole face. Dear Lord. <laughs> the voice in my head. Have a nice kiss. Oh God, somebody's gonna clip that part. So does this night end at 6 a.m.? I hope so. I can literally read so much of chat in between the friggin' transition period. The night so does end at 6. The gameplay of Manquil part is that the ghost will sometimes try to break your cameras, and if she breaks the cameras, you're screwed. When you see the owl, put your mask on and flash mangle. Okay. Let's try it. Come on, dude. I, I believe in you. I'm sending over the positive vibes. She is. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to see the owl peeking through now. Oh. Yeah, it will. You gotta be like hyper vigilant. Okay.
flash. There you go. Okay. Oh my god. This is like gut wrenching to watch. Fuck. Oh, 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 oh. Every time I see it, I fucking die. Oh. Gosh. Oh. What the fuck? I don't like this. I don't like this. This is genuinely tense. Ghost break the camera. Uh, oh. Come on. No. It was five forty eight. Just smashing your head on your keyboard. Okay, no. at least we found the optimal strategy. We finally fucking found it. Yeah, at least we figured it out. <laughs> you just sounds so depressed. This game is sapping your soul. Yeah, it was in the within the last ten seconds too. That uh, wow, I got really close. Yeah, ten seconds. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> ten it's okay. seconds. It's okay. Hey, buddy, we can get it next time. <sighs> we got this far, right? <laughs> <coughs> hey, I'm here for you, okay? <coughs> are you, are you, wait, are you, are you I'm good. Me are, oh okay. yeah, fine. Okay, I, I just wanted to check, like, I, I was genuinely <laughs> worried. <laughs> I like to be dramatic on streams. Let's okay. go again. You sure you didn't, like, want some water first? I just drank some water, that's why I was coughing. Oh, okay, okay. I was choking on my water. <laughs> I love how I'm usually like the biggest fucking shit bus ever, and then there's like, like one part of the stream where you see me like genuinely worried. Pastor going through his Joker arc. I was like, are you okay? Oh, the store to buy a Coke that's and super still here. Holy fuck, what that's a hundred bucks. Thanks for making uh, me other people. I think it, I think it's like I don't I don't I don't think like like I, I still appreciate it, but I don't think it's like I don't think it's like a hundred bucks, hundred bucks. I think it's like a different currency. Thank you so much oh. though, that means a lot to me. ARS oh okay. Pastra sounds <laughs> drunk, not gonna lie. Oh yes, of course. I'm very drunk. I love to drink. Oh, okay, that's just like about a dollar in a different currency still. <laughs> it caught me off guard for a second. Thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking around. <laughs> I was about to say, 
It's like that one motherfucker who comes in every stream and just donates like 500 bucks. Loyalty Brown says, please don't say you love to drink. It disturbs me and makes me sad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, if it makes you feel any better, I was being sarcastic. Clyde eating the blunt instead of smoking it. Yeah. Um... Actually, their name is Balloon Baby. You did not just correct me while using the wrong there. <laughs> Ours is Argentina money. What I give you is literally nothing but amount. Uh, withered, withered Bonnie and just like the regular Bonnie are easily my favorite, uh, designs. Also, no, I have no intention of stepping away from it before I beat it, uh, because it's literally all I'm gonna be able to think about until I beat it, so it's not going to help, it's just going to make me feel worse. Yeah. Especially when I was literally 10 seconds away from winning, I can definitely do this. I was surprised that you didn't die there. Freddy and like the other guys when they come in have a really long grace period. Like, they 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 have a really really long grace period. That was shocking. Oh wait, man, that's not that's a Foxy. There really isn't much of a point in checking the, uh, vents, is there? Because, like, you can literally just use audio for Balloon Boy. He's never shown up in the vents. I feel like the vents are just a waste of flashlight battery. just one that looks this good, but one that looks this good in Click Team. Right. Because, yeah, like, to anyone who doesn't know in the chat, this game was made on the same friggin' games engine as Scott's games. I love that so much. I always thought that was like a neat way of explaining why Bonnie's face is missing. It's a lot more battery than I went into yeah. this last time with. Yeah, I just I just realized that like the faces on the monitors remind me of that guy who's like, stop posting about Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
taking a big sip of water while this is uh, doing its thing. been convinced to play this game i'll probably just wait for the patches though yeah absolutely like don't yeah. let don't let my criticisms and my frustrations at this night stop you from playing the game like the game is extremely yeah. well made it's just i have it's problems anything. with how this particular night is that'll probably end up getting patched soon anyway right if anything me and pastor are, are fucking encouraging in, any and everybody on this stream to like pick up this game but we also encourage that you do so when the game is, like, properly patched. Because, I mean, the dev team very clearly cares enough to be patching it. They're aware that the problems exist. Yeah, which is good. I'm glad that this wasn't just the situation where, like, random on-handed is over and, like, nothing but radio static. I recognize the sound effect now. Ow. See? I recognize the sound effect for the owl now. Okay, where is Ghost Girl? I just checked my phone. Somebody ordered a couple of pizza for the house. Let's go. Nice. That's boggers. What a, what a night. Streaming with the boys. Getting to the pizza. Oh, I thought I heard the owl. Okay, seriously, where is the ghost? <laughs> I there wish I could give oh. more. Is it all I've got? God, that is cool. Hey, don't feel bad for, like, donating me, like, a smaller amount of money. Like, the fact that you're giving me money in the first place is more than enough for me. Is somebody- is somebody feeling bad about their financial contribution? Somebody- somebody just donated to me and said they felt bad because it was- it was less than they wanted no. to give me. The sentiment is what matters, the fact that you give money to a content creator. Like, that is, that is the highest honor we can, well, obviously not the highest honor, but it's like, the fact that people would like reach out to us and, you know, financially support us is, is pretty great, so I am pretty sure Pastor will appreciate whatever amount of money that you give to him. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, there she is. You give him a dime and he just smiles and goes, me. <laughs> Absolutely. It's me dime. Okay. There she is. Get her. Ooh, kill him. Now that we're actually like in the the throes of the gameplay loop, I will say oh. like it's Is this like game over? She broke my camera. I can't use the flashlight anymore. Shit. Come on. No way. No way. No way. No way. What? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. No, screw you. No, I don't Ooh. like you. Hey. Oh, 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 I fucking hate you. You're that. ugly!
<laughs> Sons of the bitch. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I told you guys I could do it. I told you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Whew. Whoa. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hello, congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. I'm back. She must have gotten in my head. <laughs> Paul Bear, wh where are you? you did it. Willow Owl. I <laughs> did Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh god, I'm trying to remember the voice I did. Please don't hurt me! Oh god, what? That was Dalton Graves? Oh, wait, this is a new character. Um. Wait, do you want me to... <laughs> I can Let's try. See. I have femoid voice. Yeah, you can do it, you can do it. I knew you were here all along. While you were sitting in here, behind that costume, <laughs> I was waiting. Bird. Woo woo. <laughs> Getting a lot of super chats, thank you. <laughs> woo indeed. Waiting so patiently for another one of your little puppets to try and to look where they weren't supposed to. Once I'm done with you, I'm not going to take your little pup. Wait, sorry. I'm going to take your little puppet and split his skull. Not this time! <laughs> He's different! The evil is defeated. Oh, really? Evil is. Let me ask you this. What makes him so different exactly? <laughs> hey, Stray, you just beat Night yes. 6. What are you gonna do now? I'm gonna see what else this game has to offer, and I'm gonna celebrate. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Mangle? More it's like. Done. Like, uh. Bad. Oh my god. Hey. Ayo! More like bad! Oh. That was violent. <laughs> GG Nori. Five Jeez. years, two years with Layer reopen. Oh! It would go over heavy rebranding. Some still have a somewhat negative impression <laughs> of the company. Finally, no more skill issue. No more skill issue. No more sucking. Asbury Entertainment is now more committed than ever to family fun and above all safety. They spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Oh my god! No. No way! Congrats on both getting anyway, through the night and also very close to the two hundred. Junior, this is the freaking prequel to FNAF 2! That's why the withered animatronics in FNAF 2 look like that! Oh my god, no way! It all makes sense! That's where Mangle came from! Not only that, but that's why it wasn't just a FNAF 2 homage. We were in that fucking office. DUDE! Because it just retrofitted the build. Oh my fucking god. Somebody just said the ghost okay. was Cassidy. DUDE! No, yeah, oh, okay. That, that hell of a final night was worth it. That ending was sick. That was awesome, dude. What? Holy crap! Oh, that rocks! Oh, that was all worth it! That was all worth it! That was so good! That was so oh, good! Paul Bear's even giving you Petrimize! Oh my god, that's so cool! I was like, I was sitting here looking at all the Withered characters, I'm like, oh that's really neat how they paid homage to it! No, they weren't just paying homage! 
Oh, look! And it's the Midnight Motors music because that's where you see Juniors! In the friggin' FNAF 6, you go to Juniors as the location. Okay. okay. What? Oh my god. <laughs> it was all a prequel to FNAF 2. What? No! The Dude, the ghost was the friggin' person that William Afton killed that night. Oh my god. Cause the friggin' Midnight Motorist Easter Egg is called later that night. That was the night that William Afton killed that kid at Junior's, and this is what happened to the place. <laughs> Frederick Phaser Blast got smashed by sentient pasta. God fucking damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking Christ, dude. Huh? Congratulations, you finished Juniors and we hope you enjoyed every second of it. Just as we enjoyed every second of making it for you. We hope you enjoyed the gameplay, graphics, story, music, and everything else. Every member of the Juniors team devoted years of their life to making this game a reality and it's so surreal to see it come out even with a two month delay. Now with that said, that is my final Five Nights at Freddy's fan game that I will release forever. I kept a promise to leave and I'm sticking with it. This community has both a positive and negative effect on my life and I do re- and do I regret spending eight years of my life devoted to this game series? Not in the slightest. If it wasn't for this game, I wouldn't even imagine where my life would be right now. This series gave me some of my closest friends and some of my most cherished memories that I will hold with me forever. From laughing with my friends until 3am in our group chat, to just goofing around with other fan game creators like myself, this community was such an awesome experience and I'm so blessed to have met so many wonderful and talented individuals within it. I also want to personally thank the Juniors team, Theft King, uh, and Mechless, uh, for pushing me in the right direction to finish up Juniors. It was difficult, but I still had a lot of fun doing it. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for all the love and support this community has given me through thick and thin. While it probably doesn't seem like it, this community will always hold a special place in my heart. I still... It just stinks that it took this long for me to truly realize it, for me to truly respect it. I started to become carefree with all the attention I was getting, I lost sight of what it meant to be a true and respectful friend slash fan, and I was more focused on being the next big thing in the community rather than focusing on what was important. Don't take this community for granted, the talent of, in this community is like no other, and I'm still very much looking forward to see what fan creations the community cooks up, even if I'm not a part of it. Your friend always, Ramanov. Well, that's sad at the ending. Yeah! <laughs> Do they really have to keep this in the game? I'm sorry, but like... Yeah. Do they really have to keep that right after that fantastic ending? Okay, let's go into extras. I wanna I'm see! I'm just, I'm just a bit pissed that that's what the game ended on. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, I can... Oh my god! Wow. These models are amazing! At Shit. least... Yo, oh, these... These are some of the greatest models I've ever seen for any FNAF media. Foxy looks so good, too. Balloon Baby is a very good redesign of Balloon Boy. This iteration of Balloon Boy isn't a boy at all. He's actually a baby, hence the name Balloon Baby. This time around, his face is a lot more doll-like to capture the eerie vibe that Balloon Boy has. As always, he's holding his balloons and has an iconic propeller hat. Aww. Oh, Look at that puppet model. So good. Withered Freddy. Oh, we get to look at the- Oh, listen to how the music changes when we get the withered ones. Ooh. Freddy looks absolutely amazing. There is my favorite design oh. in the game. 
This, this is, this to me is the coolest looking character in the game, and it's definitely not because Withered Bonnie is just my favorite character design in FNAF. This, this design just takes everything I loved about Withered Bonnie and amps it up. Like, my god, this is amazing looking. Withered Chica. Oh, yeah. During the final act of In Juniors, Bonnie's face was torn off by Mangle. The mask is used by the player in the final- Oh! That's why they're all withered and missing parts. The parts that- the parts that they're missing are the ones that Mangle used. I thought you got that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I shouldn't be me. Like, okay. I thought- I thought- Well, like, I, 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 I just saw the conveyor bad. belt scene at the end, and I thought they were all, like, climbing onto that conveyor belt and becoming Mangle. I didn't realize that, you know, that was the reason why all their parts were missing, you know? Yeah. It kind of confused me, because the conveyor belt kind of conveyed the idea that they were all being turned into Mangle in that moment, but then... With yeah. a Chica. Oh, man. Withered Marionette's got wonky-looking eyes. Yeah. Love that. I better get a full body of Mangle. And teeth? Wait, yeah. It looks like teeth. I may be late, I think, but how's Juniors for you, Pastor? This game overall is absolutely amazing. One of the one of the best fan games yeah. I've ever played. It has a it has a few hiccups, but I feel like no fan game is without its hiccups, and that shouldn't yeah. really speak much of the objective quality of the game when you know those are going to be changed. Like, the game is amazing. The first five nights, I have had liter I had literally no problems with other than maybe some explanations being missing. And hell, maybe there was explanations and I just missed them, because there was a lot of tool tips I found out about later. Also, uh, what's different about Withered Foxy? Oh, I guess he's missing an eye, yeah. He's missing an yeah. eye and it's more banged up. Yeah, Foxy looks amazing. Foxy is such a good translation of that character. Uh -huh. Withered balloon blo baby, balloon baby. Ah, uh, there's Mangle. Look at that thing. The Mangle this time around is absolutely giant. The ghost hunting juniors over time built the Mangle as her final form, using pieces of different animatronic endoskeletons to create this monstrosity. During the final act, all the withered animatronics hop on a conveyor to give her last remaining parts to truly finish- Okay, so yeah, it- it's what I thought it was, but... Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. God, that's creepy as hell. Oh, no, no. Ooh, let's... Is there anything past that? Uh, it doesn't look like it. No, that's it. Uh, behind the scenes. Oh, behind the scenes. Oh, Fetty. FB. <laughs> I love. It looks like he's got flies going around him. Ah, uh, it's so cool seeing these things get modeled. God, the sheer amount of detail. These models are like, just absolutely breathtaking. Like honestly. Now let's see Bonnie. Whoever had the idea to give Bonnie those glasses? Yeah. Who? Man. Chica. I wonder where the idea to give Chica, like, her nightcap and, like, sleeping look came from. The ghost kind of does look like something out of Little Nightmares, don't they? God, Foxy's design's amazing. All the designs in this are like top tier versions of the original FNAF cast. I normally find myself quite picky when it comes to designs for like the OG FNAF characters because you know there's just such an abundant amount of them in the community since you know it's really fun to redesign them. Like I feel like they hit the mark with every single one. God, without his textures, Balloon Boy just looks like a tiny man, and I hate it. Yeah. Oh, this sketch, oh my god. <laughs> Just a little donation to fill the void. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, look at the way they're- Look at their feet! Ooh. What 
didn't notice their feet was like that. Ah, oh, that's horrible. In the best way possible. Oh my god, Mangle. Yeah, Mangle. I wonder if Mangle was always intended to be the sort of like final boss of the game or if that was like an idea that came kind of later. Probably was because like it's such a fundamental part. On oh, the owl. Oh, Mangle's built like a freaking dragon! Jesus. Look at that body, oh my god. You don't really get to appreciate, um... Absolute unit. Like, actually, you don't get to appreciate whenever they're obscured on the cameras just how this monstrosity is built. This thing's a freaking basilisk. <laughs> Mangle was a late addition? Hmm. That's actually Lizard. very surprising. Gecko Mangle. Lizard but Mangle. It honestly surprises me a lot that Mangle was a late addition, because, like, Mangle seems like such a big core part that the whole game's built around, you know? God, the freaking ghost. Alright, miscellaneous. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that balloon boy! <laughs> Junior's Paul Bear Funko Puff, let's go. So handsome. Oh, this is what, like, it's so cool seeing all like this fan made content everywhere for it. That's so cool. Yeah. Lego, <laughs> Lego Juniors! Lego Juniors. Oh, that's neat. Oh man, I love these extra renders. So it's still so cool how they recreated the FNAF 2 death screen with this. Right? Yo, oh, it's so cool. Like, you don't realize just how like actually nice the place looks whenever you're not viewing it through that like creepy ass night vision camera. Like, this place actually looks like it'd be worth going to. Oh, look at that foxy render. Okay. Now that we got to look at all the amazing stuff in the extras menu, what's extra shifts? Custom uh, uh, night! <laughs> Task one? Wait, she has a- she has an AI you can customize? Oh. Hey, yo! That's funky. What? Wait, what? Junior's DLC Seniors? What the hell? What? What is this? You missed scrap content. <laughs> I missed scrap content? How did I miss that? It was right smack dab in the middle. Wow, this game looks different. Holy shit. Man, this game went through so- Wow, Mangle looked really different at one point. Yeah. Just wow. I remember this render. I remember seeing this render when um, Juniors was first sort of like popping up on Game Jolt. And I remember yeah. the entire time, the entire time I was playing through the game, I was wondering when this render was going to show up. <laughs> yeah, I believe you now. I believe you. I thought uh, friggin' Mangle was laid up later on in the game. Yeah, because like, I mean, I didn't realize after, like, you know, looking at all the behind-the-scenes stuff that, yeah, Juniors really did change from that original Game Jolt uh, page I saw back when the game, like, first started. Now, I'm not too sure about how keen I am on doing a bunch of Custom Night stuff, because I am quite honestly exhausted after five hours of this and spending, like, how long was I on uh, Night 6? <laughs> the max mod of the game has 35 ghost identifications. Sorry? What? It's 
It took somebody like 30 full minutes to complete the night. Because it was like, you need to identify the ghost 30 fucking times. How do you even do it within that time? Check the closing act challenge. Is this the closing act challenge? Wait, what's the closing act challenge? Extra presets? Oh, They put everything into this custom night. How do I... Oh, there we go, just click it again. Yeah, I'm not too sure, um... There's extra free mode. There's an extra free mode if you click continue. Okay, I am curious about this. I want to see what this is. Buford Box is a non-canon character from the Buford Box VHS series that lasted for one episode. Buford will hide randomly in the office and begin gradually draining state stability. Click on Buford to send him away. Remastered Wilbur. Remastered Wilbur is a character from the failed game Weekdays at Wilbur's Remastered. Uh, Wilbur is back for revenge and is out to bug and break Junior so much as he, as much as he can to prevent this game from receiving any more slander. Don't let Wilbur stall his virus or he'll bug out your conveyor and break it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is just the regular game with two extra characters thrown in. God damn. I like this guy. He looks like he's made of toilet paper and, and boxes. Steam gears. Can you try to do all Max? No. Uh, I might do a custom night as a separate stream. Because this is interesting to me and I'd love to visit this game custom night. But I'm honestly quite yeah. pooped. <laughs> yeah, me too. Actually, did it just arrive for me, so... Ugh. Yeah. Finally. You know, I'm... I think, I think, uh... I'll definitely, I'll definitely play the DLC at some point, but I think this is gonna be the end of the Junior stream. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my, some of my closing thoughts about this game and the whole experience that I've had with it. Um... Okay, like, first of all, uh, before I even get into, you know, talking about the game itself, um... I, uh, I just want to, I just want to apologize if at any point during the Night 6 attempts I may have been, um, more aggravated and annoyed by stuff being said in chat or just in general. Um, I was very hyper-focused on that and I was getting very frustrated. And so every, I was in one of those, like, mindsets where everything was starting to get annoying and I was just trying to focus. Um... So I do apologize if I was a little bit aggressive during that night six attempt, but we got it done and it was really fun. Um, but with, with, with that, with that said, uh, with that said though, um, Juniors is a really good game. Juniors is an insanely good game. Um, like the first five nights, I've heard a lot of people say that it was, um, like I heard a lot of people say that the first five nights are like insanely difficult or like overly difficult. I don't really agree with that. I think the problem is less so that, and it's more so just that it's difficult to learn the game. And so right. people kind of attribute it to, to the game, like, having an insane amount of difficulty. Like, don't get me wrong, the game is in fact challenging. Night 6 took me an eternity even after I figured it out. But those first five nights aren't as bad as I feel like a lot of people were making it out to be when I was starting the game. Because a lot of people told me, like, Night 5 I was going to be, like, suffering. Um... Uh, I see Red Hoodie asking what was being said. I wasn't- it's not like I was saying anything like really terrible or anything. I just felt like I was being very snappy with some of the things that people were saying in the chat. And I felt kind of bad about it after the fact. Uh, well, but you're- I think, I think you're alright. Like, it wasn't too bad. I don't imagine- I don't imagine it was too bad, but... I just figured it- I just figured it was worth saying. Um... Yeah, of course. But, uh, like... My- if I, like... If I were to, like, compare this to other fan games I've played, just sort of, like, um, how much I enjoyed it, this is probably some of the most fun I've had in any fan game. After I got the hang of its mechanics, this game felt incredibly good to play. You, you felt like you had, like, 
You, you felt like there was a reason every single time you died, right? You would, yeah. like, in the first five nights when I died, I was like, okay, I misjudged that. I didn't play the music. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. I did something wrong, and I, you know, got the consequences of it. Night six, I was a little bit more frustrated because I felt like there was some mechanics that were just working against me. <laughs> and the other reason I got really got frustrated night six now. is... This stream was great. Huh. Well, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for all the super chats. Um... Man's fighting for his life. Yeah, if I, if I were to, if I were to give one complaint about this game, one thing that I feel like should definitely be improved upon, because I want to see this game be even better than it currently is, is that I just wish things were more concisely and clearly explained. Because you know, I, I don't mind trial and error. Trial and error, I feel like, can make for a really satisfying gameplay loop. In fact, I, I even, like, compliment a lot of games I've reviewed on the channel because of the trial and error aspect, like Zardy's Maze. But you see, I feel like the problem is that trial and error is fun when you understand what it was that made you fail and you're able to learn from it. A lot of the trial and error I got from this was like, oh, I died, I don't understand what the hell killed me. Let's do another right, attempt to figure out what the, the fuck it even was that killed me in the first place. Right, the reason we got the gameplay loop of Night 6 was because some chat fucking swooped in and explained it to us. Yeah, exactly, right? It's... Like... I feel like if you're... If you don't want to explain heavily how the mechanics work, make it easier to understand why you're dying when you die. And if you want to keep the gameplay loop as it is, which I don't think there's anything wrong with the gameplay loop, just give some kind of stronger explanation for those things. Like, honestly, what I would do, just to make it easier, is just the whiteboard in front of the computer desk. It says, watch out for flickering lights, watch out for this, watch out for that. Just have the tips appear on that when the night changes. That just kind of give you an idea of what you're doing. Um, I think I think that would be a very easy way of uh, just, you know, e more easily explaining it. Yeah, and besides that, Overall, this game is, like, incredibly competently made. Visually, one of the most stunning horror games seen in general. Um, I, I can't sing its praises enough, despite the issues I do have with its gameplay. Um, I can see this being quite possibly a contender for best FNAF fan game ever when it's, like, properly patched. Yeah. It's just, I, I had a lot of fun with this. And it makes me sad, because I know the context around the fun that I just had, and it sucks that things had to happen the way they did. Um, so my heart goes out to the entire development team. You guys are fantastic, and just know that your work d it will not go appreciated. Oh, absolutely. This game is phenomenal, really. Yeah, this is, this, like, the gameplay loop of this game is one of the most enjoyable I've played from any FNAF game, just really ever. Because it's not repetitive in the same way that a lot of fan games become. A lot of the tedium doesn't really exist until Night 6, and even then that tedium isn't really all that tedious by comparison to some other games I've played. Um, and even then I'm able to forgive it when it does get a little bit repetitive because... Let's be real, every single FNAF game ever eventually gets repetitive if you die a lot. That's just- the yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's formula is fundamentally repetitive. That's just kind of how it ends up being most of the time. Um... Real. Yeah, this- this little, like, gameplay-wise, graphically, story-wise, it's just- This is just one of my favorite fan games I've ever played, and, you know, if people are interested, I would definitely be interested in trying some of these custom night challenges again, just because I find the gameplay loop so entertaining to go through. And then, you know, um, after this, I'm definitely more interested in the prospect of possibly um, going further in depth about the game, making a video or something like that. Um, and I would definitely reconsider, like, playing over this again just to kind of soak everything in. Um, overall, you know, uh, past, thank you for having me on, as always. Uh, it's been real pleasure playing with you. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, these streams are always nice. And I know that this is probably the last stream for like a while, so... Yeah, this... It's, uh, 
it's a nice sweet ending to the, the, the stream era. You know, that actually, uh, thank you for bringing that up because that actually does bring up a point I wanted to actually, I'm probably gonna make a community post about this at some point soon, but I wanted to actually make, like, I, I figured it'd be nice to make an announcement on like the stream while we're still live, you know? Um, yeah, to anyone who's still in the chat, um, pretty soon uploads are gonna slow down quite a bit on the channel and I may end up streaming a little bit more, but the channel's gonna be slowing down a bit in the future because in like a couple weeks, I'm gonna be starting college. And as well as that, I'm gonna be working on something really, really big after the part two to my Sonic CD video. Y'all know what it is, baby. So that's the thing is that um, I'm gonna try and be in co as consistent as I can um, in the coming months. But I'm just saying, especially for September and October, once the new Sonic CD video comes out, be expecting a hiatus. Doesn't yeah. mean the channel is dead, and it doesn't mean that the content I'm going to be making is lacking. In fact, um, after the Sonic CD video, I have something very, very big, <laughs> and very, very important yeah. planned. Um, <laughs> people, uh, some people I've talked to know what know what's coming up, but. Um, like, literally, like, the next couple months for me, like, all through September and all through October, I'm gonna be doing schoolwork, and I'm gonna be working on a very big project, which I will be dropping within the next couple months. So, anytime I'm not- anytime I'm not doing schoolwork, I'm gonna be working in the background on something. So just- if you don't see any activity from my channel, just know it's not because I'm not working on the channel or it's dead, it's just because something big is coming and I'm dedicating all my energy to it. Right. I just, I wanted to get that out there. I'm gonna probably be making some posts about it on my social media too, but I figured I'd get that out there very early on because I want people to, you know, know in advance so they don't worry about how the channel's doing or how I'm doing or anything like that. Um, and just, you know, uh, yeah, the, the, the big project is an original project. It isn't a game review or a review of anything. It's, it's, it's an original piece of work. Um, and I wish you the best of luck on it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. I, I hope it goes well. <laughs> but yeah, though. Um, with that, with that said, though, and you know, me being able to get that off my chest. Um, you know, you got into college. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> yeah, me and huh? me and Zach both since just it's gonna be a bit slower. Started you college, this so front. we're good luck both in the same and boat of like. Two hundred k. Goodbye, content. Thank you so much, Awesome Sharka. That means a lot to me. Um, yeah, so, you know, like I said, um, you know, I don't, like, y you guys have probably been able to tell from past community posts and stuff I've said that I really don't like making people wait because, you know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, I, I enjoy making stuff for people and I don't enjoy, you know, knowing that people are waiting to get new stuff. But, you know, if you're patient, when CD Part 2 comes out, I promise I'll reward it with something good. I promise. Um, and I'll be trying to get stuff out intermittently after that, just through college, but you know, college is gonna take priority, so. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. I don't really know how work intensive it's gonna be yet. But, yeah, um, with all that said, uh, this has been Juniors. I definitely want to revisit this game on a stream sometime in the future, and- yeah, junior, junior. <laughs> Juniors, yeah. Juniors has been amazing, I've loved this game, and, um, yeah, all you guys being here and super chatting and becoming members has meant the absolute world to me. I yeah, appreciate it so much. Artists. Yes, all the people making art for the stream have been absolutely amazing too. Um, Phenomenal, y'all are super talented. Right, right, the Discord, yes. I, I said I was going to advertise the Discord at the end. I was getting ahead of myself. Uh, anyone who wants to be in the Discord server and hasn't joined it yet, just check out my Bendy video. There's a link to it in the description of my Bendy video. Um, I put it specifically in the description of that video because... I didn't want to have too many links everywhere to clog it up, and also, you know, any more views on the Bendy video is nice, you know? Uh, but, yeah, if, if you want to join the Discord server, check out the Bendy video. Just go to the description of that. You'll be able to find it. I look forward to talking to all the people who, uh, who join the Discord server after this stream. But yeah, though, um, I'm gonna get going for now. You've all been lovely. Uh, thank you for being here to everyone who's been here the whole time. Thank you to anyone who just dropped in. Um, 
And you know, as I always say in my videos, here it comes, here it comes. Goodbye for now. <laughs>